in a it's good enough. offense. Good defense there by the Buccaneers. Turnover one, Lake Region State. Royals averaging 14 turnovers per game. 6 nothing. Lake Region, 8.31 to go here in this opening quarter. Ahayeva will bring it into the front court. He'll be guarded in the man-to-man -man by Klenick. Left side it goes. Out of the free throw line, Peterson. Hands it off, driving. With it, it is Brandon. Brandon back out on top. It comes. Aarons. Aarons drives. Puts up the runner off blast. No good. Offensive rebound. Peterson jump hook. That goes off the rim. We see first to the ball to get the rebound. We see will go the other way. Tiziana. We see into the front court. Sophomore out of Argentina drives. Puts it up off blast. And it rolls in. It's good. Tiziana. We see averages 15 a game. Got her first two, and it's an eight to nothing start. Lake Region State timeout. and a timeout taken. Timeout. Timeout. This will be stretched to a ball. 7.53 to go. Your score, it is Lake Region 8. Dawson, nothing. We'll be back in a minute. Want to go grab that? It's got my pronunciation. Oh, my program. Royals off to a good start. They lead it eight to nothing again the last few weeks. The last couple of weeks have gotten off to a terrible start. Inbounding will be Brandon at midcourt. Today's game brought to you in part by Leading Edge Equipment of Michigan, Hamden, Devils Lake and Carrington, and Wall Family Automotive, Devils Lake. Royals basketball again next Wednesday. Williston will be in town to take down Lake Regent. And they're at home Super Bowl Sunday when they play North Dakota State College of Science. Inbounds pass comes in Jenkins. That'd be Zariah Jenkins. There's also Samantha Jenkins who will come off the bench. Inside it goes Peterson. She'll back down against Navarro. Can't get a shot off. Kicks it to the perimeter with a Brandon. Brandon lays it. Ahayeva. Ahayeva guarded by Klonik. Reverse dribble into the paint. Slides through two. Puts up the shot. No good. Rebound drops into the hands of Weesey. We see Klenick, nice pass play. Clay can't handle it, though. Ball goes out through the doorway into the hall. Turnover Lake Region, her second. That was the right idea. There was a nice angle for that pass. Just didn't work. 8-0 advantage. Lake Region, 7.26 to go here in this first quarter. Backcourt, Aarons will inbound it. Does so to Hayeva. Hayeva with it, leaves it off Aarons perimeter. Guarded by Fitzgerald. Out of Hahayeva in the corner. Inside it goes. Jenkins. Jenkins goes with a jump hook. Spins out. No. Rebound, though. Hahayeva. Tipped away by Weesey. Picked up by Navarro. Weesey stripped her. Turnover number two against Dawson. We're going to back Kleinick. Kleinick's going to be guarded by Jenkins. That's Zariah Jenkins. To the arc it goes. Navarro. She's not going to do any damage there. She'll land it to Weesey. She'll try the three on the way. No good. Rebound cleared by Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins with it. She'll push it into the front court. Inside it goes Peterson. Ball stripped away. Picked up by Brandon. On time it goes. Haha -ha Yeva with a three. It's over the rim now. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there by Fitzgerald. She'll dribble away from pressure. Pass. That's dangerous. Intercepted. Haha -ha Yeva. She's got a breakaway. Layup good. Nice play. Sabira Haha -ha Yeva. Oh, Her team. first two. Turnover Lake Region number three. 8-2. Advantage, Lake Region, 6.20 to go in the opening quarter. Front court, Clay gives it Fitzgerald. Now to Klanek, Klanek on the drive. Nice hook pass, Navarro can't handle it. Rolls right back to Klanek. Fitzgerald bombs away with a three, no. All dark jerseys there for the rebound. It's Ahayeva. Ahayeva into the front court with a left-handed dribble. She's going to hand it off to Brandon. Brandon enters the post. Zariah Jenkins hands it off to Brandon. Brandon in traffic. 
went up and the ball tipped away and went off. Brandon out of bounds. She was between two defenders, nowhere to go. Turnover, Dawson, number three. Into the game from Lake Jacob, Carla Morris, by seven freshman, Barcelona, Spain. Also into the game, Raylan Davis, six foot freshman, Dusty, North Dakota, Fitzgerald Wilson. As will Kleinex. And Dawson has made a move as well. Get to that in a moment with it. It is Weesey. Weesey gives it up on perimeter. Davis, Braylon Davis. Lays it off Clay. Deep three on the way. Left that one short. Rebound's going to be picked up. Brought back on the fly by Aarons. Aarons, left side it goes. Brandon. Brandon back to Aarons. Aarons. Brandon left side. Inside it goes. Zariah Jenkins. Leaves it off, Peterson gets that low jump hook over to Barrow. Mackenzie Peterson averages four per game. She's got her first two tonight. Front court play, left side it goes. Into the hands of Davis. Davis leaves it off. We see had a tipped away, picked up by Morris. Her pass is going to be kicked by Brandon. Ball will stay with Lake Region. They'll have a baseline left. End of the game, Samantha Jenkins, 5'9", sophomore, Nelson, New Zealand. Having gone out is going to be Haha Yeva. So both Jenkins on the floor, Zariah and Samantha. For Dawson, Clay will inbound. Clay to the corner, Weesey. Weesey to her right on the dribble. And a foul's going to be called. And it's going to be an offensive foul on the play. Her first, team foul. First person, boys first. Kleinick back in, Fitzgerald back in. Clay will get a break. Navarro will get a break. 8-4, the advantage, Lake Region State, 5.02 to go in this opening quarter. Bringing the ball up, it is going to be Samantha Jenkins. Samantha Jenkins to the wing, leading three-point shooter for Dawson. To the perimeter it goes, Aarons. Aarons down low, ball taken away from Peterson. Morris comes up with a turnover for Dawson. Front court, Weesey. Weesey, change of pace, dribble, gets into the paint, banks it up, missed it long. Rebound clear, Peterson. Peterson to Brandon. Brandon the other way. Long lead pass, and it goes off the hands of Aaron's out of bounds. It's going to go the other way. Turnover number five against Dawson. They're averaging 21 per game. Into the game. It is going to be Evelyn Old Coyote. Old Coyote, 5'8", freshman out of Gary Owen, Montana. Peterson sits down. Front court, we see with it. Time of the wheel, 8-4 Royals. Haven't scored for a while. Fitzgerald, three on the way. That rattles off no good. Rebound deflects to Weesey. Short range, missed it long. Rebound tipped down, goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Lake Bridget. I think it went off the hands of Samantha Jenkins last. Royals going to have it either way. 20 on the shot clock. Inbounds pass, Kleinig. Kleinig dribbles from left to right out top. Leaves it off, Fitzgerald. Now it goes Morris, left side, Weesey. Weesey, free throw line, pull up, jumper, got it. Tiziana Weesey. Weesey. She's missed a couple close in. That from just beyond the free throw line went. 10-4, advantage Lake Regent. Front court with it. Aarons, Aarons, right side, Brandon. Brandon drives paint, fades from five, yes. Haley Aarons averages 13 a game. She hits the paint, created space as she jumped away from the defender. 10-6, advantage, belonging to Lake Regent. Line eight, we see, gives it Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald drives, she'll put up the teardrop, it's good. Kyla Fitzgerald averages 14 per game. Her first two today, it's 12-6 Royals. Long lead pass off the hands of Brandon, and it goes out of bounds. Trying to kick it ahead that time was Samantha Jenkins. Six turnovers against the Buccaneers. Men's game will follow that at about 8.30. Bringing it up will be Kleinig. Kleinig matched up against Jenkins. That'd be Zariah Jenkins. Now it's left off. Fitzgerald wide open three. No good. Rebound comes out to Old Coyote. Old Coyote had a tipped away. Got it back. Hands it off. Zariah Jenkins. Now to Brandon. Brandon, do a right to the baseline. Cut off there nicely by Klenick. Now goes Zariah Jenkins to Brandon on the wing. Enters it to Old Coyote. Old Coyote drops step, drives bank, scores it over Davis. Old Coyote, for Old Coyote gets the bucket. Her first two. She averages four a game. 12-8, advantage, Lake Region, 2.57 to go in the opening quarter. We see on the right side, snaps, free throw line, jumper, too much space, score. Samantha Jenkins gave her too much space. We see just pulled up, hit the J. 14-8, advantage, Royals. Back quickly, Brandon drives, went up, came down, now saves it, and it's going to be grabbed by Morris, turnover seven. That was good vertical defense by the Royals inside by Fitzgerald. Right side, planning. 
Got a Fitzgerald on tap. Gives it to Morris. Morris, we see. We see to her right. We see tries once. Now tries again behind the bank. Goes left. Kicks it off. Morris. Morris bluffs a three. Stops off a dribble. Fires three. No good. Weak side rebound. Grabbed there by Zariah Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins into the front court. Zariah Jenkins pulls up a 14-footer. It's long. All alone for the rebound is we see. We see the other way for Lake Bridget. Ahayeva will check in with the next dead ball. Hand off Fitzgerald on the drive, gets down low, throws up a hook. Good, but an offensive foul, wave it off. They want to check the restricted zone, but they're not getting along. Fitzgerald first, Fitzgerald's first, first team foul two, turnover five. Ahayeva in, branded out, also... In Shannon the game, Burton. Shannon Burton, a 5'9 freshman. Severe, Waitland, Australia, uh, her hometown. So Ryan Jenkins will sit. Yes. So Samantha Clay. Jenkins, the long Jenkins Hall, on the floor. The riot comes out of Utah, and Samantha comes out of New Zealand. Free throw line with it. It is going to be Burton. Burton gets into the paint, put it up and in. <laughs> Shannon Burton just off the bench, gets her first two. 14 10. Advantage Lake Bridget. Play back into the game for the Royals. Fitzgerald got it from play. Now it goes. We see ball tipped away, and it's going to be stolen away. Nice defensive play by Aarons. Tipped it away, ran it down. Burton. Aarons. Aarons down low. Put it up. No, but a foul. We see. Her first team foul three. Set of the free throw line will go Michelle Aarons. 11 points, five Plus rebounds per game for her. Set of the line for the first time will go the Buccaneers. They shoot 61% as a team. Davis, Davis wants to come back in. Yes. And she does. Going out will yeah, be Fitzgerald. Today's game brought to you in part by Farmers Union Insurance, Devil's Lake, and the Farbo Harrington Insurance Agency, Candu. And the White House Cafe, Holiday Mall, Devil's Lake. Aaron's free throw is good. She'll do it again. 14 11, Lake Region Royals have not trailed. They jump to an 8 0 lead. Got up to a hot start of since cool. Aaron's second free throw. Good rotation. Nice stroke. Good. 14 12. Backcourt pressure. Just soft pressure. Now dropping back. We'll go to Buccaneers. Simone play into the front court. Play balances the floor. Now it goes with the elbow. Navarro back door goes. Weesey puts it up over a defender. Can't hit it. Rebound's going to be cleared by Aaron's. Aaron's into the front court near side. Aaron's at the arc. Plays it out top. Aha, Yeva. Not old coyote. Old coyote spins. Jump hook left hand. In and out. No. Rebound, Samantha Jenkins. She's called for a walk. Eight turnovers, Buccaneers. So the ball goes back to Lake Region. 59 ticks left, first quarter. 14-12 Royals. Be a 12-6 a run right now by Dawson. The inbounds pass thrown away. Intercepted. Not much of an interception. Ha ha, Yeva. Leaves it on top. Three put up by Aaron's. No good. Rebound grabbed by Navarro. She throws it away. She threw a fastball, and play was right next to her. Another Royals turnover. They're eight. Twining will come the back in. Weasley will stay. 49 seconds to go, first quarter. 14 12. Lake Bridget. Samantha Jenkins gets it in. Ha ha, ye. Yeva puts up the three. Air ball goes out of bounds. Sabira, ha ha, Yeva. Misses everything. Ball out of bounds. It'll go to Lake Region. 45 checks left. First half or first quarter. Inbounds pass again. Thrown away by Navarro. With it, Samantha Jenkins down to the baseline. Boy, they're having trouble just getting the ball in. Aha Yeva with it out top. Started by Klinik. Underrated pass to the wing. Goes Aaron's. Aaron's inside Old Coyote. She lost the dribble. It's picked up by Davis of Lake Region. Nine turnovers against Dawson. Front court Klinik. Planning to the arc, now leaves it off for Davis. Davis down the left side it goes. Valador Fetus has come in for the Royals. Not a play, a three on the way, short. She's now 2 of 4 Aha, Yeva with the rebound. She'll bring it front court, 10 seconds to go in the quarter. To the trailer, Aarons. Aarons pulls up free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound, grab Navarro. Navarro will give it Kleinig. They'll let the clock run out, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Coming in late in that Plus first quarter, 12. Charlotte Valador Fetus, the 5'7 sophomore, Sydney, Australia, one complete. Your score, Lake Region State 14, Dawson 12. We'll be back in a minute.
the majority of my scholarship money is academic. I'm part of the women's basketball team. That scholarship was a really big part of my decision. The scholarships that I've received while attending Lake Region State have made it very affordable. There's just tons of opportunities for scholarships for students that want to attend classes at Lake Region State College. There's plenty of money out there. It's just about applying and going and getting it. After my two years here, I get to go right into the physical therapy program at UND. I'm going to graduate with my two-year degree. I'm going to UND and study kinesiology with a uh, focus on sports medicine. The courses I'm taking here transfer right into physical therapy. There's really kind of a wide variety of what students can do after they leave Lake Region State College, whether they want to continue on to a four-year degree or whether they want to enter the workforce. Fourteen ball, Blake Rippin with a late day match. Sloppy first quarter, 18 combined turnovers, nine on each side. Today's game brought to you in part by the First Community Credit Union of Devil's Light. Locations throughout Central and Eastern North Dakota. And H.E. Everson Company, Devil's Light. Ball's going to belong to the Royals. We see back in Chillin' by Nick Clays out there. Davis, Fitzgerald, and Clenny for Lake Bridget. Inbounds pass comes in, Simone Clay. Play into the front court. She's guarded by Brandon back into the game. Now to Davis at the elbow. Near side, Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald dribbles to the elbow, right side. She'll step through, goes from 14 on the rim, and it comes off. Rebound loose in the floor. Battle for it. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fitzgerald. It'll go to Dawson. So the Buccaneers with the ball with a three. That would put them in front. Royals hit two early threes from Simone Clay. First two shots of the game for the Royals. Dawson with that one has the Viac. Ahayeva sends it right side. It goes. Aaron's. Aaron's to the free throw line. It is going to be Burton backing down, and a foul is going to be called. Fouls on Tiziana Wiesi, her second. Tiziana Wiesi, second. Royals. is going to check back in. Yard tomorrow in for the Royals. comes in. Wiesi out. Meanwhile, end of the game, Noel Bidwaya. Bidwaya, 5'6", freshman, out of Japan. Panagawa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Inbounds pass comes in. Zariah Jenkins with it. Lays it off for Ha. Yeba, turnaround jumper from seven feet. No good. Over the rim, off backboard. Rebound, Davis. Davis gives it up to Simone Clay. Clay will let the other way. Being pressured in the backcourt. Across the timeline, Dawson pressure gave the Royals a lot of trouble in the end of the first quarter. Timeouts can be taken. Timeouts taken. One seconds, rep at a jump. One at a timeout. Time next to a four. Lake Region got a timeout. Nine oh nine to go. Nine oh nine to go. First four, First half. Your score: Lake Region fourteen, Dawson twelve. We'll be back in a minute. Fourteen twelve, like preaching with the lead over Dawson Community College. Thank you to all of our sponsors along the way, like Plummets Roots Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, along with Creative Impression, both of Devil's Lake and Pro's Lake Side of the Cove, west of Devil's Lake and Creel Bay. Ball belongs to Lake Region. Fitzgerald will throw it in. 9.09 to go until halftime. Fitzgerald gets it in to Clay. Dawson picked up that intensity defensively over the last five minutes of that first half. Davis with it. 
Give it to Fitzgerald. Reverse dribble. Fitzgerald backing down. Fitzgerald gets deep. Too deep. Shot clock ready now. Ball tapped away and out of bounds by Brandon. That was actually fortunate for Lake Bridgen with a shot clock down to three. Inbounding will be Kleinig. Kleinig looking. Pass comes in. Play wide open. Bank shot good. Four. Small play for the lead runner. See, more teams run out of bounds plays on the baseline that years ago would have never happened because you just pack it down and so now it's still Kleinig. With that three point line, it's not as easy to do. Klonick drives the other way, stops, nearly walked, had it tipped away, got it back. Lisa Fitzgerald bombs away with a three slash. Kyla Fitzgerald, a three. Five straight scored by the Royals. He lead at 19 12, 8.27 to go in the second quarter. Brandon, front court, right handed dribble. She'll be gutted by Clay. Inside it goes to Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins gives it up. Peterson back to Zariah Jenkins. Tries paint, lost the dribble, down on the floor, has got it. Sits up, gets it. Peterson paint, got it by Navarro. Steps through, can't get a shot up. Now to Zariah Jenkins. Ten footer on the way, yes. Boy, that one's from the area over to a, a shot that goes through the hole. Stops around a five straight. Wasn't pretty, but it would get two points on the board. Kleinig gives it up, play. Right side it goes. Fitzgerald, now to Davis. Braylon Davis sends it right side to Clay. Play to her left, rubs off a screen, stops, pops, 17 footer short. Rebound grab by Hayeva. Hayeva, lead pass goes ahead. Soraya Jenkins, down low, dumps it off. Awaya, back on the left. Hayeva leaves it. Brandon, three short. Rebound comes right into the hands of Zariah Jenkins, gives it off to Peterson, a 10 footer, no good, but Zoraya Jenkins, another rebound, gives it to Peterson, paint, dumps it out. Hayeva. To the baseline, cut off there. Look back door, not there. Not a Peterson at the elbow. Near set, it comes Araya Jenkins. She travels. Turnover 11 against Dawson. Samantha Jenkins in for the Bucks. Samantha Jenkins in. Going out will be Aha Yeva. 19 14, Royals in front. Backcourt pressure. Clay will bring it up. He'll be guarded by Brandon. Straight up, man to man. Clay, front court. Accelerates, stops, now gets it over to Davis. Davis bluffs the three. Davis gives it Fitzgerald. She doesn't bluff, she fires, no good. Rebound to the corner, run down by Peterson. Mackenzie Peterson gives it to Brandon. Brandon across the timeline. Brandon stops, lets it go for three, got it. She just brought it up, let her fly. Haley Brandon, she got five points for 25th three of the year. 1917, five straight now scored by Dawson Community College. Kleinig across the timeline. She'll drive paint, dumps it, corner Fitzgerald, wide open, shot for three, lips out, no. Rebound, Navarro had it, now it's going to be tied up. Jump ball, zero points to the Ducks. Back in the game, it is going to be. Aaron's back in. In for the number 24, We see in, Navarro out. So Dawson with the ball, they've scored the last five, 6.28 to go, first half. You better buy a 50-50 ticket there, Coach. I think you're lucky today. Into the front court, Brandon. Brandon got it by Clay. Brandon enters it. High post area. Zaria Jenkins now gives it back to Brandon. It's stripped. Coming up with a ball. It is going to be Weesey. Weesey, Fitzgerald, cross court. Clay, wide open luck. Three on the way. Short. Weak side rebound. Picked up by Zariah Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins into the front court. Change of pace dribble. Weesey stays right with her. Down the bounce pass entry inside Aaron. Hits the cutter. Brandon, 10 foot jumper. Good. Haley Aaron's has the last five of the game. We are tied at 19, second tie of the game. Royals have not trailed. 545 to go until that time. Simone play front court. Pop it out, taking it. We see, we see plenty. Her pass intercepted by Aaron's turnover 10 Royals. Aaron's pushes two on one, takes it herself, lays it up and out. Michelle Aaron, her first two, and the lead goes to Dawson for the first time, 21-19. Royals have had lulls offensively throughout the season. Fitzgerald with it, steps through, she'll scoop, she'll score. Alan the long pass over the pressure by Kleinig, freed up Fitzgerald. Seven for Fitzgerald, game tied at 21. Brandon with it, tries another three, got it. Haley Brandon another three. And she's got 10 points, 24-21. Advantage, Dawson. Front court, 
play. Gets it left side. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald pulls up. Line drive. Jumper short. Rebound is going to be dug out. That was flat from the get-go. Brandon with it. High end to Aarons. Aarons down to the baseline. Cut off by Weesey. Leaves it off for Brandon. She's got an hot. She'll drive paint. Dumps it off right side. Shot goes up from 15. Good. Soraya Jenkins. She's got four points all here in the quarter. Timeout taken like Bridge. A nice run right here by Dawson. Timeout Time on the floor. 435. Timeout. 4.35 to go. Second quarter, your score. It is Dawson 26, Lake Region 21. We'll be back in 30. Twenty-six, twenty-one. Johnson Community College with the lead. They're on a fourteen to two run. They were down nineteen to twelve. They had scored fourteen of the last sixteen, and they've been led by Haley Brandon. Eight points during the surge. Lake Bridgen ball. Morris back into the game for Lake Bridgen. Fitzgerald out. Clay will bring it up. She'll be guarded by the aforementioned Haley Brandon. Clay hands it off. Weesey. Weesey. No points here in the quarter. Now to Morris. Morris jabs. Gets to the free throw line. Pulls up the shot. Yeah. She's been playing well in the play. Played more minutes. She's had to because of the mismatch with the lineup. First two for Morris. Bounce pass. Inside goes Burton with it. Back it goes. Old Coyote. Drop step. Left handed shot. No good. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Navarro. It's going to stay right there with Dawson. You're in tune to KZZY Devils Lake Worldwide. LRRadioWorks.com. It is 7 o'clock. Brandon will inbound baseline left. 408 to go until halftime. Inbounds pass Old Coyote. Old Coyote will back it off to the top of the wheel. Sends it down to Brandon. Near side corner. Pump fake drives to her left. High poster in out of Old Coyote. She jabs. Doesn't try to challenge Navarro. Out takes it at her. Back to the basket. She'll turn, shoot over Navarro, and it's good. Nice shot. Old Coyote, Evelyn, old Coyote with four. That's right on her season average. Front court, we see 28-23. Advantage belonging, Dawson. Play with it on top. Simone Clay. Morris. Morris gives it we see. We see. Sends it. Valador Fetus. Valador Fetus. Not a play. Play is going to go to her right on the dribble. Fates. Tough shot from 14 short. Rebound, Navarro, and Navarro's going to be fouled by Old Coyote. Evelyn, Old Coyote's first. Her first, 16 fouls. Fitzgerald's going to come back in. Right now will be Clay. Today's game brought to you in part by the State Bank of Lakota and the former Union Oil Company of Lakota and Ag Resources Maddox. Inbounds pass comes in on the baseline. Valador Fetus sends it cross court. Fitzgerald. She'll drive baseline. Gets down low. Gives it to Navarro. She's tied up gun ball. I think if Fitzgerald would have looked to the it's rim, she had a clear shot. Jump ball's gonna stay with Lake Region. End of the game. Will come Zaria Jenkins back in. Sitting down will be Brandon. So both Jenkins on the floor. Floor, Samantha and Zariah. Inbounds pass, Weesey, Valador Fetus to Weesey. Weesey to Valador Fetus on the left side. She'll dribble out top, gives it over to Morris. Morris takes it over to Valador Fetus. To her left, dumps inside, Navarro puts it up, no good. Crawled across the rim, rebound, Samantha Jenkins foul on Valador Fetus. Her first, team foul seven. Foul set number 14, Charlotte Valador Fetus, first personal. Coming into the game, Kleinig, Valador Fetus. Eye, underneath the right eye. The old cigarette commercial. Is that Viceroy? That has to be a lot of years ago. Rather fight than switch, I think, was the punchline. Out top with it. It is going to be Burton. Burton, old coyote. Now to Burton. Burton leans in. The shot short. Rebound grabbed by Aarons. Aarons will back it off. Aarons on the right wing to old coyote baseline. Now to Zariah Jenkins. She'll penetrate paint. Hands it off. Burton, 15-foot jumper, nothing but net. Shannon Burton with four. Averages three a game. The latest seven, 
to 23. Advantage, Dawson. Shot, Fitzgerald, three, no good as she took the handoff from Weesey. Old Coyote with a rebound. Ayanna comes, firing, it's a three, and it's good. Three, the one hit Jenkins. He has seven points. Might have missed some, but might be her first of the year. 33-23. Advantage belonging to Dawson Community College. Fitzgerald, Weesey. Weesey on top. Can't get a shot up. Corner it goes. Fitzgerald. She'll try a three drill. Boy, did Lake Bridge need that. Tyler Second of the game for Fitzgerald. Lead is cut to seven. 33 26. Front court lead pass. Kleinick knocks that out of bounds. Pass and Jennifer Aarons from Samantha Jenkins. Brandon will come back in. Clay will come back in. Morris will in sit for Lake Bridge. And Forward Samantha Rose. Jenkins will sit for Dawson. Inbounds pass, Brandon. Brandon leaves it up top, Zariah Jenkins. She'll go to her right, gets a screen from Burton. Pick and roll to Burton. Nearly a tie-up, we see. Burton triple teamed, out it comes. Zariah Jenkins. Cross court it goes, Aaron's a pull-up, 12-footer, no good. Rebound ends up in the hands of Navarro. She had a tipped away, loose ball, but a foul. Foul's going to be called against... Foul's number 32, Zariah Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins, first, 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 second. Ball seven. Well, team foul two, personal one. 120 to go here in his first half. Play with it into the front court. Play to the elbow. Leaves it Fitzgerald. Deep three on the way, short. Long rebound grabbed by Aarons. Aarons the other way into the front court. Aarons guarded there by Kleinig. Off it goes to Zariah Jenkins. Leaves it free throw line, old coyote. Now to Aarons. Aaron's to her left screen and running through the screen. Clinic blew right through the screen. That was set by Zariah Jenkins. Clinic's first. Number 15, Brooke Clinic. First personal, third team. Morris ball. back in. Morris returning. Morris in. Clinic set. Ball be inbounded. Baseline right. 55 seconds to go, second quarter. Brandon inbounds it. Zariah Jenkins to Old Coyote, over it goes to Brandon. Brandon to her right on the dribble into the paint, hands it off Zariah Jenkins, she walks. Turnover number 13, Buccaneers. Today's game brought to you in part by Candu Lumber and Dakota Auctioneers, both of Candu, in NDTC, Devil's Like. We see inbounds against pressure, gets it into Clay. 45 seconds to go, first half, 33-26 Dawson. Front court Clay leaves it Fitzgerald between the circles. She'll give it up to Morris. Morris, Weesey. Weesey has not scored in the quarter. She'll drive, pulls up, shoots it through two defenders. No good. Rebound put back is good. The has got her first two points. Lead cut to five. Back quickly to Raya Jenkins right wing. Now to Brandon between the circles. Shot clock is off. 18 seconds to go. First half, the lead five for Dawson. Brandon being pressured by Clay, and now they're going to call a foul against Clay. Her first team foul. Foul number 20, Simone Clay, first personal foul. Clay will come back. Clay will come back. Clay will come back. Clay will be Weesey. They don't want a third on Weesey in the last 12 seconds. Good move right there, Ryan Clark. Jack Clark off, 12 seconds to go. Inbounds pass. Old Kyle, a nice catch. She'll drive the paint, spin. Puts up the shot, score! Boy, a beautiful drop step. Old Kyle was sick. She's gone to her left. And each time, Planick fires a deep three, no good. That'll do it for an half time. Evelyn Old Kyle with a drop step and uses the left hand as better back now. Off the pitch. In fact, the pitch has produced 10 points for Dawson in this first half. Your score at the break. It is Dawson Community College 35, Lake Region State 28. We're back in two and a half. The best thing about Lake Region State College is the faculty interaction and the one-on-one -on -one attention. 
When you come into a lake region, it's a family environment. We're small, we're intimate. We work with students one-on-one. Classrooms are smaller, so you get hands-on with every teacher. You get to really know them, so the relationship is great. There are people here to help you, like your instructors will take time. The atmosphere at Lake Region State College, I really feel is like a family type atmosphere. You know all your teachers, you know all your classmates. More of a family than I'd say a larger university. You get to know everybody and you get the one-on-one -on -one attention that you need. Everyone's saying good morning to you, which I was not expecting. The smaller class size really helps because if you don't completely understand what you're going over, you don't have to battle a hundred different voices. The faculty and staff wants everybody to succeed and they really are there to look out for you. Welcome to Lake Region State College. We're a two-year public college founded in 1941 in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, where people come from far and wide to fish the state's largest natural body of water. Lake Region State College offers students the first half of most bachelor's degrees and certificate, diploma, and degree options in 20 technical programs. Around 2,000 students attend here, including more than 600 high school students from over 50 schools earning dual high school and college credits. My advice would be to not you know, overlook these smaller colleges because I know that is what I did right away and then now that I came here I'm really glad that I gave it a chance and it was I mean, you fit right in and the people are so great. This has been a great start, but my goal is to go to a four year and get some extra credentials. I mean, I do want to train and I will definitely use the information that I learned here, but just some extra knowledge won't be bad either. Designed for the Northern climate, the residence halls, most classrooms, the library, the student union, and the bookstore are connected as if they're one large main building. Here, students study humanities, math, and science, business, and arts. The Robert Fawcett Auditorium is also here, as well as space for dining, computer lab, gym, and exercise facilities, workforce training, and more. Surprised how much fits into there? The facility was planned with efficiency in mind, and average class size averages around 14 students. Oh, I'd say we have such a variety of students at Lake Region State College. Welcome back to, to the Devil's Lake Sports typical, Center, your halftime score. Right out of high school. It is. Very nice Johnson Community College, College we also have 35, like State. And are getting their degree outside of their full time um, job. And so those students are able to succeed by taking afternoon classes, evening classes, online classes. We also have students, international students, that come to our campus and are able to achieve a two year degree. It doesn't seem like it's a teacher student relationship, it just seems kind of like you're just talking to someone and they're teaching you things. If you've ever heard that cliche phrase, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I, I just think it echoes at Lake Region State College because all of the faculty and staff truly care about our students and want to see each and every one of them succeed. Nearby, the new Bergstrom Technical Center houses one-of-a-kind two-year programs for North Dakota, including the Wind Energy Technician, American Sign Language and Interpreting Studies, and the Peace Officer Training and Law Enforcement programs. The Simulator Maintenance Technology Program is one of only a handful of programs of its kind offered in the United States. About a year and a half ago, I applied with Lockheed Martin. Uh, they said I had all the work experience because I did 10 years of electrical, and, but I needed the education to back it up. Um, there was three schools in the country at the time, and Lake Region was highly recommended as the top. Um, they told me verbatim that they try to snag as many of, their stu of Lake Region students as they possibly can. Our Precision Agriculture Program incorporates the use of drones and other state-of-the-art equipment. It's a fair statement at this juncture in terms of total number of students plus total number of faculty. We're the largest training program in the nation at the two-year level in uh, Precision Ag. Lake Region State College prepares students not only for today, but it also prepares them for the future. So some students will come here to just get a two-year degree program like the Dakota Precision Ag Center provides a two-year chemistry and biology and agronomy background. And so some students after that will now find their confidence to be able to go on and pursue a four-year degree if that's what they choose. We get both non-science majors and science majors in our classes. The Technical Center is also home to our high-tech electronics and nursing programs. The professors, they're enthusiastic, they come from the industry, so it's not just them reading out of a book, it's hands-on. They give examples of 
things that they experienced in their careers, and they tell us things that we should expect on a day-to-day, -day, kind of unusual situations, specialties, things of that nature. The professors and the instructors at Lake Region State College truly do have um, real-world, hands-on experience. Our auto instructors came straight from industry. Our history professor has years and years and years of educational experience. Um, students really get a quality education at Lake Region State College. Students here participate in numerous activities, including student government, student clubs, and athletic events. We have successful NJCAA men's and women's basketball teams, plus volleyball, baseball, fast pitch, and golf. At Lake Region State College, they definitely give you the opportunity to play from day one. I came as a, as a freshman, I was a starting catcher on the team, and they don't just give you the job, you have to work for it. We have lots of activities going on, and the faculty are directly involved with students, whether it's orchestra or vocal concerts or basketball games, volleyball games. Faculty are directly involved in the lives of the students, so they become part of a family. I really like it here. I mean, the program is awesome and the people are so welcoming and you don't feel like you're just a number and I mean, you walk in the door and people know you and it's really cool. That's one thing about Lake Region State College that everyone comments on is the one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one attention that you can get from your instructors because the class sizes are so small. We see that in survey after survey. Uh, students comment on it, faculty, staff comment on the ability that our instructors have to give time um, to our students. And I feel that at Lake Region, we um, go the extra mile to ensure that students are finishing their degrees and encouraging them to go on to a four-year institution, if that is their choice. We also are, have the ability to encourage students to pursue a career um, after their two years at Lake Region, if that's what they would prefer to do. This is a place where you matter and you'll be prepared for success. Learn more about how we change lives at Lake Region State College.
game will follow. UND Hockey has the weekend off. They'll be at Denver. Denver ranked fourth in the country. They'll be at Denver next weekend. We'll also have coverage of the Super Bowl. That on KDLR. 5.30 kick. I'm not sure when we're going to start the pregame show. Yeah, what did I... All's going to belong to... Dawson Community College to start the second half. That's the Fort Dunn Little Theater. We're at the Case Hill. Maybe I can find a game. Let's be something going on. Today's action being brought to you in part by the Pheasant Co-op Association and Pheasant with other area locations, along with me, Mian, Machine and Repair of New Rockford, and Orthopedic Associates of Fargo. 35-28. Advantage Dawson Community College, they are 9-3 and three in the conference. Lake Region, 7-6. and six in conference play. Johnson Community College sits in second place. Just ahead of Williston. Johnson plays here, then they go to Bismarck. Go home for a day or so. Go to North Dakota State College of Science and United Tribe. Four road games in about a six day stretch. Sabira Hayeva will inbound it. Does so far side, gets it in to Zariah Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins hangs on, gives it to Hayeva. Out time it goes, Aaron. Aaron gives it up, Brandon. Try to hand it off to Zariah, or to uh, Aaron, stolen away. We see. Got it add to Clay. Clay drives, lost it on the way up, ball out of bounds. Turn over each way to start the second half. So the ball belongs to Dawson Community College. 9.44 to go, quarter number three. 35-28, biggest lead of the game. Eight by Lake Region, 10 by Dawson. Front court, Brandon, right side it goes. Soraya Jenkins. Soraya Jenkins leaves it, free throw line, Peterson. Peterson hands it off. Ah, uh -huh, Yeva. Back it comes, Peterson. Peterson bounce pass, Andrea. It's got to be three second violation, yeah. In the lane, much too long was Michelle Aarons. 15 turnovers. 35-28. Dawson, Simone Clay will bring it up. She'll be guarded by Haley Brandon in the man-to-man. -man. Right side extended, we see. Royals need to get her going. Average is 15 again. She had six in the first quarter, none thereafter. Pass, try to go to the post. Navarro wasn't set off her end. Ball picked up by Peterson. Peterson gives it up down the far side to Ryan Jenkins. Inside it goes. Aarons, turn around jumper. Good on the left. Michelle Aarons with six. Lead is at nine. 37 28. Back comes Weesey. Right side it goes Clay. Clay settles on a three and away. It's short. It's online, but short. Ah, Yeva with a rebound. She'll snap it out on the fly. Zariah Jenkins cut off baseline by Fitzgerald. Back it comes on the wing. Ah, Yeva inside. Pivot, jump hook, left hand, bank, no good that time by Zariah Jenkins. Rebound, Kleinick. Hyanna goes, Weesey runs it down on the baseline. Weesey, bounce pass, trailer, Kleinick, too deep. Underneath the rim, hit the bottom, ball out of bounds on the rebound off Peterson and out. Ball belongs to Lake Region State. Royals will have it baseline left, 8.23 to go, third quarter. Buccaneers by nine. Inbounding will be Simone Clay. Play gets it in. Fitzgerald on top. We see. We see. Look at interior. We see to her right. Screen from Navarro. We see. To her left. Taps goes. Elbow jump shot on the rim. On the rim and down. Soft rim Tiziano right there. We see. Tiziano we see. Paired against the taller defender. Gave her some room. And We see took advantage of the spacing. Soraya Jenkins leaves it. Ha ha Yeva. Inside Soraya Jenkins. But on her back. We see in a foul. Tiziano We see her third. Team foul one. 
That's going to get Davis on the bench. Davis then weaves the out for the third personal. Brandon Davis returning for the Lady Royals. So inbounding, baseline left. It's going to be Brandon. Brandon Lux. Lux. Has comes in. Left side it comes. Tariah Jenkins swung around the horn. Eventually gets to Brandon on the right side. Brandon leaves it. Ahayeva. Free throw line. Soraya Jenkins, turn around jumper, no good. Ha ha, Yeva with a rebound. He'll leave it on top, Brandon. Brandon, perimeter, tried to go right. Clay was there to cut her off. Now it goes, Soraya Jenkins. Back it comes, Brandon. Brandon, eight to shoot. Brandon to her right, wants to turn the corner. Does, eventually, puts up a runner, much too hard. Rebound's going to be grabbed by Klanek. Klanek goes the other way. Klanek up the near side, gets that low offensive foul. Klanek third off with a chicken wing. Brooke Kleinig, second team foul two. Brooke Kleinig, that is her second. Turnover against seven. the Lady Royal. Ball goes back to Dawson. Slow start, 2-2. Two, two. The score here. Thirty-seven thirty. Buccaneers in front. Pass comes near side. Zariah Jenkins inside Peterson. Back Zariah Jenkins. She'll land it off. Off the dribble. Gives it to Peterson. Peterson back to the basket. Dumps it out to Brandon right wing. Inside Peterson. She'll go jump hook. Left it short. Good job defensively. Navarro. Rebound grabbed by Davis. Davis gives it to Clay. Clay across the timeline. Clay sees an opening drive. Throws it up too hard, but a foul. Clay with a scoop shot. Didn't come close. It just... Bailed off the backboard. Oh, the going to go get Bailey Brandon. Her first team Lady ball. Bucks Royals first. are going to shoot their first free throws of the night. Simone Clay to the line, eight points, six of which came in the first minute. And oh, it's going to be Elena Woods, 5'9", freshman, partial North Dakota. Peterson will Simone set. Clay, shoot it to you. So Clay to the line, 6.54 to go, third quarter. It's a seven-point lead for Dawson Community College. Right-handed free throws up, good. Today's game brought to you in part by the Sendak Cooperative of Leeds. Niles, Maddox, Esmond, Harvey, New Rockford, and Minnewankin. And Bergstrom Electric, Devil's Point. Second free throws good. 37-32 Dawson. Ahayeva into the front court far side. She'll leave it between the circles. Soraya Jenkins inside it goes. Woods back out. Hi, Yeba, three, no good. Rebound's going to be picked up by Fitzgerald. She'll throw it at Kleinig's going to run it down far corner. Kleinig will hang on. She'll go cross court. Fitzgerald from the parking lot, a three on the way, short. Rebound comes out long. It's grabbed by Brandon. Brandon, two on two the other way. Brandon bangs in, puts it up. Off glass, good. Turn it and a foul. Haley Brandon with 12. She averages 13 a game. She'll go to the line to shoot one. Lanig, third. Team will send Morris in the lead. It's going to be 39-32. Advantage belonging to Dawson. Brandon free throws up. That's short. Rebound drops into the hands of Fitzgerald. Pressured right away. Double team. Got it to Davis. Davis will advance on the dribble. Now leaves it off for Clay. Clay front court. Play under hands at Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald to her left. Fitzgerald into the circle. And she's bailed out a foul. Break there for Fitzgerald. See if they're going to be a travel or a turnover on the pass, but she gets fouled. And that's going to go against the number 20. Woods and her first, second team second. foul. Charlotte Ballard or Peyton Navarro will stick. Interesting to see where the points come from this lineup. Inbounding will be Clay. Clay down low, it goes Davis, and there's your answer. Layup good. Off the inbound Davis. play, Trillity Davis. Davis with her first two points of the game. 39 34. Advantage Dawson. Left side with it, Zuaya Jenkins on top. Aha, Yeva. She'll give it to Brandon. Bounce pass inside. Covered up there. It's going to be Aaron's back out. Aha, Yeva. Aha, Yeva to the elbow. Woods. Woods. Drop step, drives, puts up the runner, banks it up, score. Boy, she went drop step and got Woods, it. Right. Two. Elena Woods. And now an inbounds turnover on the violation on the inbounds Lake Region 14th turnover. Tell you what, Dawson very well schooled. We saw him with old Kyle. We just sat there with Woods with your back to the basket. That big drop step, you pin the defender. But right there, Lake Region was just slow defensively. 
41-34. Dawson inbounds past Woods on the way. See the elbow it goes. Soraya Jenkins, she'll dribble to the high post, leaves it out. Ayeva drives, gets down low, spins it off, that's good. Sabira Ayeva, she's got Ahayeva. more. 43-34, the lead is nine for Dawson. Bringing it back, it's going to be Clay. Clay between the circles, 5.15 to go, third quarter. Clay gives it Valador Fetus. She'll go skip pass, Fitzgerald drives baseline, gets deep, gets too deep. Hits the trailer and the catch, it's going to be Morris, and she's bumped in a foul. It's only going to be the fourth team foul. It's a common foul. The foul is going to go against Soraya Jenkins. Her second team foul three. Fitzgerald out. Weasley back in. Navarro back in. David out. Soraya Jenkins, second personal. So inbounding baseline left will be Simone Clay with 5.06 to go. Third quarter. Next dead ball will be a media timeout. Inbounds pass under throw and it's intercepted. Aha Yeva with the interception. Sabira Aha Yeva. And it goes Woods on the dry miss. The shot left it short. We see with a rebound. We see into the front court. We see numbers out there. She'll leave it for Clay. Clay to her right. Bounce pass inside Navarro. If it's away from the back out, it goes Clay. A three on the way. Too strong. Long rebound. Navarro gets there first and then tied up. Jump ball. That'll stay with Lake Bridget. We should get the media timeout now. We do. We have a media timeout. We'll break. 4.43 to go. Third quarter. Your score, Dawson 43. Lake Bridgen 34. We'll be back in a minute. Matthew Jenkins still have Ohio in for the Lady Bucks. Jump ball to 43 34, the advantage belonging to Community College. In the Royals led 19 12, then a 21 4 run by Dawson has given them the lead. The lead they have not relinquished. They've led by as many as 10. It's at 9 at the moment. Back into the game, Samantha Jenkins for Dawson. Old Coyote comes back in as well. Inbounding. That is going to be Weesey. Weesey gets it in Navarro along the sideline. Not a Weesey. Weesey to her right along the baseline. Cut off. Pump fake. No go. Two defenders there. On top play. Now Valador Fetus. Hands it off. Morris. Morris dribbles along the arc. Can't turn the corner. Now throws up a wild shot. Too long. Not close. Old Coyote with a rebound. Good defense by the Buccaneers. Old Coyote up the far side. She'll pull up the arc. Nearly double dribble. Inside it goes Aaron. Center on jumper was open but missed it. Valador Fetus with a rebound. She'll go beyond the back with a dribble into the front court. Leaves it Navarro. Now it goes to Morris, left wing. Morris, Weesey. Weesey, right side play. Royals have gone ice cold from the perimeter after that hot start by Clay, hitting her first two. Valador Fetus to Navarro outside the elbow. Hands it off, Weesey. Pump fake steps through. Top 12 footer to foul. It was blocked. A foul is going to be called on Michelle Aaron. Her first team fall four. House number 21. And to the show. And it's going to be Indiana Eight points, six of which came in the first quarter. 43 34. Advantage Dawson. 3.54 to go. We see they it. They beat on it again, but the Royals really miss Raven Robinson. Put her at the point. Free throws up. Rims in gut. Play could go back, coming off the bench. We see goes not handling the ball as much, goes to a wing. That's 15 points and five assists. You're taking out of the lineup. But it's made everyone else readjust. Not a deep team to begin with are the Royals. Second free throw is good. 43-36. Dawson 
front court with a basketball. Brandon back into the game. Brandon dribbling on the perimeter. She'll give it up to Zawaya Jenkins. Back it goes, Brandon. That old Kyle. She'll go inside deep. Zawaya Jenkins jump hook left hand, no good. Bellador Phoenix with a rebound. Gives it off to Clay. Clay into the front court. Clay drives, puts up a teardrop down the paint, score it. She won it the turn, first jumping laterally. Simone Clay, first field goal, second half. She has 12, 43, 38 lead, cut to five. Brandon's going to drive into the paint against Navarro. Puts it up. Good. Nice shot. Haley, Brandon. Enough body contact that created space to get it over Navarro. That was a nice play by Haley. Right side, we see. She'll drive baseline. Might have carried it. Nope, they're going to call the bump and a foul. Foul's going to be called. That's a 33. Emma on Old Kyle. Second. Team foul five. That means two free throws. Going to Tiziana Weezy. In the game, it is going to be Burton back in. She's going to be the first half. Going out, it is going to be Aaron's. Today's game brought to you in part by Pros. End of the line, Sports Barn Grill. In Lamont's Paint and Flooring, both of Devils Lake. And CHS of Devils Lake with other area locations. We see free throw good. 45-39, advantage Dawson. One more free throw. Right-handed delivery is up. We see got it. Coming back into the game will be Abira Ahayeva. Going out, it is going to be Zariah Jenkins. So bringing the ball into the front court, Ahayeva. Ahayeva on the left side. She'll give it to the free throw line. Old Kyle driving against Navarro. Can't go drop step there. Out of Brandon. Brandon split. Two defenders got to the rim. Missed the layup. Rebound tip list. It's going to be grabbed by Fitzgerald. Great look right there for Brandon, but no finish. That goes to Clay. The lead is five. Clay drives. Gets caught up. It's stolen. Beautiful defense, Brandon. And a foul is going to be called against Clay. Turnover number 16 against Lake Region. There's six of the quarter. Simone Clay. Clay was sick. Kleinig back in, ball belongs to Dawson backcourt. 2.42 to go, third quarter. Men's game will follow. I think Coach Nessler's in a trance. Into the front court. Ahayeva. Ahayeva had it, lost it, got it back. Ahayeva, bounce pass entry to Old Kyle. Old Kyle working against Navarro. Not a Ahayeva, three on the white guard. Sabira Hayeva, her 29th three of the year. She's got seven points, leads at 8, 48, 40. 2.19 to go, third quarter. Kleinig with it between the circles, picks up the dribble, hands it off Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald trying to get everyone organized. Now to Morris. Morris to Weesey. Weesey to her right. Sends it, Fitzgerald, corner, three on the way, long. Weak side rebound, Hayeva. She'll bring it back front court. The lead is eight for Dawson. That goes to Samantha Jenkins. Told Coyote free throw line. She'll go spinning, puts it up, block Navarro. Good job by Navarro, and she runs down the rebound. Got it to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald being pressured from behind. She'll spin into the front court. Fitzgerald leaves it between the circles. It goes Kleinick. Weesey. Weesey to her left. Stops. Can't get a shot off. Great defense. Uh, ha Yeva. And now they put it up, and they call ha Yeva for a foul. Boy, that was a tough shot. Great defense. Sabira Ahayeva stopped the penetration. Uh, and then an off-balance look using her pivot that she time. Did, 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 She'll get two free throws out of the deal. Sabira Ahayeva, her second personal. And over that five-fall limit, it was a shooting foul anyway with a minute 36 to go third quarter. We see right-handed delivery is up swift. Today's game brought to you in part by Brummer Bank and Decorated Wearables, both of Devil's Light, and Pete's Tractor Salvage, 10 miles south of Animus. 48-41, Buccaneers, second free throws up, Swift got him both. Back into the game, it is going to it's be right, the Jenkins, box. Old Kyle, David, and the out. 136 to go, third quarter. 48-42 bucks. They've led by as many as 10. Trailed by as many as eight early. Front court with it. Brandon. Brandon tried to lob it inside. It was deflected, but it's grabbed by Zahara, Zariah Jenkins. Zariah Jenkins leaves it out. Ha-ha-yeva. 
Ahayeva sends it inside. Burton on a post up. Free throw line it goes. Shot good. Zawaya Jenkins. Jenkins with nine, averages seven a game. Nothing but net. Now steal. Brandon with a steal backcourt. Took it away from Plenty to Samantha Jenkins. Down to the baseline. She'll pull the trigger. 15 footer. Good. Samantha Jenkins averages eight a game or first two. The lead is 10. 52 42. Another turnover. Brandon the interception. And it goes. Layup. No good. In and out there by Zariah Jenkins. Loose ball. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch. Planning. So Dawson's pressure getting the best of Lake Bridge and State here. At times tonight, 17 Royals turnovers. Seven have come here in this third quarter. Nine came in the first. Inbound in baseline left. Hayeva gets it in. Zariah Jenkins. Hayeva corner three and a white guy. Sabira, Ayeva, her second three of the period, second three in the last minute, now blocking foul, Samantha Jenkins. Samantha Jenkins, good to her first personal. Two shots coming up now for Brooke Klenick. 55-42, largest lead of the game for Dawson Community College. Royals are fortunate they've gotten to the line. Just three field goals here in the quarter. Free throws too strong. Today's game, a presentation of the first insurance agency of Munich. Locations in Munich and Devil's Lake. Along with a glass shop in the feed shop. Both of Devil's Lake. Second free throw good. One of two made by Quanick. 55-43. 40 seconds to go. Third quarter. Front court, Brandon. Leads it off, Zariah Jenkins. Not a Brandon. Brandon wanted to go back door, not there. Now Zariah Jenkins, a three, that's short. Rebound, Navarro. Good rebound. I'll let Planick. Planick into the front court. Planick's going to take it right to the rim. She'll put it up. No, it's a blocking foul. Planick will go right back to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul's going to go on Burton. Shannon Burton. Also, number one, Shannon Burton. Today's game brought to you in part by West Ed Auction and Appraisal Service of Maddox and Premier Wealth Management, Handu, Munich, Cavalier, and Grand Forks. 55 43. Dawson, free throws good. Mike Flanick, two of three from the line here in the quarter for only two points of the game. She came in averaging eight. Parents here from Australia. Been here for a while. They're going to go to Toronto. Come back for the last two home games. An extended visit, you might say. Front court, 19 seconds to go. Some are at home and they come to this. 25 below. Ah, uh, Yeva, backdoor pass, Brendan. Paint puts up a shot, block foul. Boy, he didn't need to foul. You had two defenders right there with length, Navarro. And Davis, and Davis from behind, I think, is the one that got the foul. She number did. 23. Really, Davis was first. first personal. 15 foul. Two shots coming up. Haley Brandon. Small play. One to the line. The Four points on the day. Morris sits. Davis sits. Back into the game. We see in play. 55-45. Advantage. Dawson. Free throws up. Good. Royals were down 18 against Miles on Sunday. Got a cut to one late, but lost by three. Second free throw's good. A little tougher task here tonight. Inbounds pass. Play. Navarro to play. Five seconds to go. Play into the front court. Play's going to fire a long three short. That'll do it. Third quarter. You score at the end of three. Dawson 57. Lake Region 45. We'll be back in a minute.
Royals only made three field goals in that third quarter. They did not the Reds three returning for the Reds. Reds. They the third quarter. They were outscored though, 22-17 in the period. Today's game brought to you in part by Thompson's Devil's Light Glass, Paint, and Flooring of Devil's Light. Along with Pro North Insurance, Handu, and Devil's Light. Ball's going to belong to Dawson. Samantha Jenkins will get it in to Ahayeva. That's left off out top. It goes to Aarons. Aarons dribbles to her left. Now spins back. She's going to attack. Baseline cut off. She goes from five at the side of the backboard. Got her own rebound. Leads it off. Shot goes up from 12. Good by Soraya Jenkins. Second chance opportunity. Soraya Jenkins with 11. 59-45, biggest lead of the game for Dawson. Right side play, gives it off. Two. Weesey, Weesey Fitzgerald. She's been quiet second half, drives paint. Two Fitzgerald. Two. Fitzgerald, first second half points. She's got 12, they'll need more of her. 59-47. Advantage belonging. Dawson down low with it. Burton, jump hook, score over Davis. Tough shot, Shannon Burton. She's got six, a lead at 14 again. Play gives it Davis. Davis travel, turn over 18, Lake Region. 14 point lead. I and have it's in for it is Lady going to be Elena Woods, fine dine freshman, partial North Dakota. Setting down, it is going to be Burton. That was a tough shot. She hit the last trip down. Dawson plays at Bismarck tomorrow night. Into the front court with it. Ayeva, left side to go. Shad goes up left side, it's good. A two put up by Aaron. She's got eight. Aaron's for the ball. 53, 47. So Aaron's knocks it down. Tell you what, Dawson has shot the ball pretty well. Nearly a turnover, Fitzgerald would. She'll throw up a wild jumper off their trouble. No good off left. Rebound, Fitzgerald tried to get it back, but was fouled. They're going to say she was going up in the act of shooting. Bounce number 20, Aliana Woods, second principal. So the foul's going to go. Foul. Brooklyn in for Lady Well, they're going to say shooting, and they're going to say inbounding now. Elena Woods got the foul, her second, team foul one. They're going to say two shots. Ella Fitzgerald to shoot two. So Fitzgerald will go to the line to shoot two. Shot goes up, shot short. Today's game brought to you in part by Reslog Printing and Devil's Light and the Nicolaus and Land Company of Candu and Devil's Light. Second free throws up, good. One of two, 13 for Fitzgerald. 63-48. Advantage, Dawson out top with it. Soraya Jenkins leaves it off Aarons. Aarons cut off from penetration by Klenick. Right side it goes to Wood. Woods leaves it up into the lane, goes to Ryan Jenkins, gives it up Woods, turn around jumper, blocked there by Davis. Woods got a back, goes from seven, good, wow. Loose ball, Woods just picks it up, turns and shoots it in. She had space, she's got four. 65-48 Dawson, Clay with it. Over it comes Kleinig, now to Fitzgerald, eight minutes left. Fitzgerald's gonna drive, hook pass inside, deflect it away. Davis battling, ball out of bounds. Last touch Davis, it's gonna go the other way. Dawson Ball for the Royals. Gone kind of ice cold, and I tell you what, shots have been made by Dawson here, and they've gotten great balance. Nine have gotten into the scoring column for Dawson. Right side, high Yeva. Gives it up to Aarons. Aarons down. Oh, turn around, jump. Count the bucket. Number 23, Brittany Davis, second principal. Royals. Bucket goes for Elena Woods. She's got six. She'll go to the line to shoot one. The foul is going to go on Raylan Davis for the second. Team foul one. Morris back in for Lake Bridget. Navarro back in. Davis and Clay will sit, and all of a sudden, this is a 19 point lead. Free throws up. Good. Elena Woods averages three a game. She has seven. 68-48, 20-point game, 7.40 to go. Weesey leaves it off. Right side with it, Klenick. Klenick gives it up Fitzgerald on the drive, puts it up off glass, good. Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald five and a quarter, 15 in the game. 
before the alternation of the lineup. Lake Region had beaten the final four team from a year ago in Western Nebraska driving back. A Hayeva to the rim score. A Hayeva for two. Time out, Rollins. 30 second time out. This gives the first charge time out of the second half. 7 14 to go. Your score. Justin 7 and Lake Region 50 will be back in a minute. All done at this community college after they got down by 7 and 19 to 12. They came back with a 21 to 4 run and haven't looked back. Today's game brought to you in part by Real Estate 7 and Prime Therapy and Wellness, both of Devil's Light. 70 50 Dawson. They're looking to improve to 12 and 10 overall, 10 and 3 more importantly. In the conference, backcourt pressure, pass comes in, Flanig. Flanig into the front court. Flanig slides to the middle of the floor, hands it off Fitzgerald. Now to Weesey. Weesey goes from 18, nothing but net. Tiziano Weesey, she's got 16. Lead is 18 for the Buccaneers. Ahayeva into the front court. She'll leave it. Samantha Jenkins, she'll fire it inside Aaron's. Aaron's one roll fades from five on the rim, on the rim and down. Michelle Aarons in double figures with 10. Averages 11 a game. 72 52. Dawson, 6.40 to go. Weesey, Plannick up top. Plannick drives, gets down low, left handed layup. No, got her own rebound. Plannick puts it up, blocked from the end, but a foul on Brandon. Haley Brandon. Haley Brandon, second team foul. Her second. Second team foul. Plannick. She will shoot two, three points. Three of four from the stripes, 631 to play. 72 52. Free throws up, good. Other sports boosters include Bronson Grain Company of Doyen, Tolna, Lakota, and Garski. 72 53. Advantage belonging to Dawson Community College. Second free throws up, good. Got them both. Planning with a pair, bringing it back. Hi, Yeva. Ayeva on the right side. Royals look to be in a zone now defensively. Pass comes over to Brandon. Brandon drives a seam, gets caught up in that. To the corner, Samantha Jenkins back to Ayeva. She'll send it skip pass right side. Take that back as Brandon that got it to Ayeva, who then traveled. My bad, 16 turnovers, Buccaneers. Ball belongs to Lake Bridge in three-quarter court. Weesey gets it in, Clonic, 6.13 to go. Planick front court. She'll be guarded by Brandon in the man to man. And now just goes out of bounds. Brandon ball pressure forced the turnover. Planick couldn't handle that. 19 Lake Region turnovers. Ball goes back to Dawson. 72 54. Buccaneers, six minutes to play. Ahayeva with the basketball overlooking a 2 3 zone. As deflected Planick, but grabbed by Brandon. Corner goes there and the three that comes up short. Now back out on Sam, it goes Brandon. Left side, high, Yeva leaves it. Samantha Jenkins, a three, no good. Navarro with a rebound. She'll be followed. She is fouled by Elena Woods. Her third, team foul three. So the ball belongs to Lake Region State backcourt, 546 to play, 72-54. Peterson comes in, going out will be Woods. Today's game also brought to you in part by the Cedar Rim Family Restaurant and Ag Country Farm Credit Services, both of Devil's Lake. 
Farnig flies into the front court. She'll challenge down low. Doesn't shoot over Samantha Jenkins. Now Navarro. Out it goes Fitzgerald. Buries a three. Kyla Fitzgerald. Nothing but Kyle in Fitzgerald for three. three. Yeah, four, 18 in the game, but it's 72-57. Samantha Jenkins. Baseline. Dribbles into a double team. Bounce pass. Payne. Aaron. Turn around. Jumper. No. Rebound. Navarro. She has a tipped away. Out of bounds. Last touch. Navarro. Tipped away by Samantha Jenkins. And it rolled off. Navarro out of bounds. Turnover 20. Turnover number 20 against Lake Bridget. Inbounding will be Ahayeva. Baseline left. Throws it into Brandon. Brandon sends it over. Goes to where it's not Ahayeva. Down low it goes Peterson. She tried to go cross court intercepted. It is picked up by Weesey. Weesey dribbles back front court. Leaves it off. Flanning. Fitzgerald out of her range so she'll drive to her right. Can't step through a double team. She's surrounded. It's going to be tied up jump ball. Arrow keeps it with Lake Bridget. 4.57 to play. And we're going to get a media timeout. Media timeout. 4.57 to go. Here's the four. It is Johnson Community College. 72. Lake Bridget State 57. We'll be back in a minute. Seventy-two to fifty-seven, the advantage belonging. New Johnson Community College, Glenn to have you along. You're in tune to KZZ Worldwide. Murray Beamer's women's softball team will be in action this Saturday and Sunday down in Aberdeen. There's an Iowa Area Community College an opponent. They'll play Jamestown. And they have one other game. Against team from Nebraska, I believe. They'll play four games over the weekend. Certainly aren't going to play any softball here for a while. <laughs> Inbound a baseline right. Klanik gets it in. Weesey. Weesey on the wing extended. She'll dribble, sends it over. Time of the key now to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald being guarded by Eric. Fitzgerald to her right. Down to the baseline and a hand check and a foul is going to be called. That's going to go on Michelle Eric. Got the hand in there. That's number 21. Michelle Eric. Second person. Second Fourth team ball. Fourth team ball after this. Royals will shoot three kicks in for the many bucks. Coming into the game, Zariah Jenkins in. Aarons will sit. Inbounds pass. Weesey. Flanagan hands it. Weesey. She'll curl. Paint. Little teardrop on the rim. Just enough set on the front iron and drop. Weesey with 18. Lead cuts to 13. 72 59. Was it 20? Samantha Jenkins gives it to Brandon. Brandon overlooking the 2 3 zone. Now down to the corner it goes. Ahayeva into the paint. Brandon, nice cut. Lost the ball, out of bounds. Going the other way. Perhaps the Royals. This zone has been more effective than their men to man. Bucks. End of the game will come Burton. Going out, it is going to be Peterson. 4.22 to go. Fourth quarter, 72-59. Dawson the lead. Inbounds pass comes in Klenick. Klenick will be guarded by Zariah Jenkins. Klenick. Sends it out down by the key. With it there, Fitzgerald, she'll go from 15 on the rim. Came off short. Front iron, back iron, and off. Rebound, Zariah Jenkins. She'll bring it front court, far side. Zariah Jenkins, bounce pass, high post. It goes to Brandon. She traveled. She threw it away anyway. Turn over 19, Buccaneers. Sports coverage brought to you in part by Central Eating and Cooling. Along with Service Tire. And Blake's Marine and Sport, all of Devil's Light. Navarro will inbound against pressure. Pass comes in, Klenick. 
Planning ball fakes and now will dribble. She'll cross midcourt. 3.55 to play. The lead is 13. Planning sends it off right side on the wing Morris. That goes Navarro. Navarro gets it Planning. Planning. Good denial right here. It comes over to Weesey. Weesey to a right. Step back. Goes 18-footer. Tough shot air ball. Good defense by Dawson Community College. Loose ball rebound grabbed by Brandon. Brandon brings it back. Again, the 2-3 zone. And the right side it goes. Aha, uh -huh. Yeva. Now it goes Brandon. Aha, uh -huh. Yeva. Back it comes Brandon. Brandon over lucky net zone with 12 to shoot. Aha, uh -huh. Yeva with it on the perimeter. 10 to shoot. She's going to go with a three. Got it. Sabira, Aha, uh -huh. Yeva. The call options were taken away. Says, okay, I'll shoot her. Third three, second half. Gives her 31 on the year. 75 59. That a big shot for Dawson. We see. Corner Morris, there goes the three on the way. That's short. Weak side rebound, Navarro. Navarro hits Weesey on the cut. Steps into the lane at a tipped away, but a foul. That'll result in two free throws. That's the fifth team foul. Foul's going to get Foul's number one, Burton. Shannon Burton. First second. second first Out of the free throw line, Tiziana Weesey. She has six of Weesey six, 18 two. points on the night. Royals did not shoot a free throw in the first half. They've shot 16 here in the second. They have made 14. 75-59, Dawson, 2.53 to play. We see right-handed delivery is good. Get a United Drive Lake Region went 22 for 22 from the line. Second free throw, good. Got them both. So into the front court with it. Ah, Yeva. Takes out the dribble to the free throw line. It goes Burton. Burton back. Ah, Yeva. Sends it down the right side. Brandon, now it goes to Burton at the elbow. 15-foot shot, no good. We see with a rebound. Lead pass, Morris. To the rim, layup, good. Carlo Morris uh, with Morris for two. Lead cut to 12, 75-63. Uh -huh, able with the dribble into the front court. 2.24 to go. Left side, Samantha Jenkins. Back, uh -huh, Yeva. Overlooking that 2-3 zone. Uh -huh, Yeva still with it. Sends it over the top, Brandon. Brandon to her right, can't find a seam. Now skips it back over. Ahayeva, pass to the cutter. Shot goes up in, count in the foul. Great cut, Zoraya Jenkins. She Jenkins. gets the bucket and the foul. the foul. She cut into a seam, and the look there by Ahayeva found her with the assist. Yara Navarro. Yara Navarro, it's her second. Second team foul. Second team foul, 77 63, 206 to go. It's out of the free throw line. So Ryan Jenkins, 13 points, almost double her average. Now it is double her average, as she has 14 points. Backcourt pressure. Across the timeline, we see. We see to a right. Last thing that they want to do is foul. They being Dawson. Kleinick. They don't want to stop that clock. We see with it. She'll fade. Tough shot. 15 footer, no good. Rebound Brandon. Brandon will head back. Minute 46 to go. Royals going to suffer another loss. They're going to drop to 500 in the conference. They were 6-2 and two at one time. Going to be 7-7. Seven and seven. Brandon, right side it goes. Yeah, yeah. To the corner it goes. Samantha Jenkins try to go deep. Even if that had gone through, I'm not sure what Zariah Jenkins could have done with it. She was behind the backboard. Ball was tapped away by Navarro out of bounds. Navarro will sit. We see yes. will sit. Davis, Charlie Valador, Fetus back in, Braylon Davis back in. 128 to go. Pass comes in, Samantha Jenkins near corner, three, no good. Rebound grab, Valador, Fetus. She'll throw it ahead. Morris with it. Morris into the front quarter, minute 18 to go. Morris picks up the dribble. Survey, leaves it perimeter, Valador, Fetus. That goes Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald to her right. She'll put up the runner at the side of the backboard. Rebound's going to be picked up and brought back by Burton. Burton in no hurry. That's left off for Yaya Yeva. Gives it up. Left side. Comes off Brandon. Yaya Yeva. Yeva gives it up. Now down to the baseline. Driving. Brandon sends it over. Samantha Jenkins a three. No good. Rebound over the top of the backboard out of bounds. 44.2 seconds to go. 
Well, the Bucks start their road trip off nicely. Four road games in about six days, I believe. Bismarck tomorrow, they got to go to Science. They got to go to United Tribes. Bellador Fetus with it between the circles, guarded by Ahayeva. Ball tipped away, but a foul. Foul's going to be called against Zariah Jenkins, their third. Two free throws coming up. Charlotte Valador Fetus, yet to score, she'll shoot two. Today's game brought to you in part by Dr. Robert Rummick's dental office. Jarrell Sports and the Farmer Junior Oil Company, all of Devils Like. So Valador Fetus will go to the line. Shot is up, good. Men's game will follow about 25 minutes after this. Royals are off until Monday. They'll go to Botno next home action next Wednesday at home against Williston. We'll have the Williston doubleletter for you. Second free throw rims in good. Bringing it up will be Brandon. 28 seconds to go. Shot clock, game clock, essentially the same. Brandon leaves it off. It goes to Zariah Jenkins. She's just hanging on. About a second different shot clock game clock jenkins gives it aha uh yeva -huh, she's just dribbling down the clock they'll take the shot clock violation i think they'll just they're gonna be blue ball near side they just have to inbound it Point six will be put on the clock. Inbounds pass, and that's going to do it. Your final score, nice performance. Dawson Community Your College, 70, Bucks, Lake Bridge of the State, 65. We'll be back with a total of that. Time it is minutes action as your Royals will take on Dawson Community College Buccaneers. That in 20 minutes time. Final score, Dawson Community College, 78, Lake Region State, 65. Post-game stats brought to you by Monster Lawn Hydro Seating and Landscaping of Devil's Light. Everything you need for your backyard is found right there in their backyard. You don't have to drive out of town. No, you don't. Stab at Monster Lawn. You'll find decorative landscape rock. 
black dirt, sand, wood mold, fertilizer, grass seeds, fire pits, and more. You can step in. They're located just off Highway 2 East in Devil's Lake, north of the Sleep Inn. Take them up on Facebook. Let's go to the scoring. Four, Dawson. Nine in the scoring column, four in double figures, led by Haley Brandon with 16. 14 for Zariah Jenkins, that's double or average. 15 recorded by the Vera Ayeva. 10 point, Michelle Aaron. Six H, Shannon Burton and Evelyn Old Kyle. Seven recorded by Elena Wood. Two points. Samantha Jenkins and two for Mackenzie Peterson. 33 field goals for Dawson. Six of those were three. Three by Ayeva. Two by Brandon. One by Zariah Jenkins. They were six of seven from the line. Turn it over 20 times. Nine of those came in the first quarter. For Lake Bridgen, they are paced by Tiziana Weesey with 20. Kyla Fitzgerald with 18. Simone Clay with 12. Five points recorded by Brooks Kleinick. Carla Morris with four. Two for Lara Navarro. Two for Charlotte Palador Pettis. And two for Freeman Davis. 21 field goals for the Lady Royals. Five of those for three. Three by Fitzgerald. Two by Clay. 18 of 20 from the line point region. Turn it over 20 times. Score by quarters. 14 12 Royals at the end of one. 23 14 Dawson, second quarter. Buccaneers won it 35 28 at the half. Third quarter, 22 17 Dawson. In the third, they let it 57 45 at the end of three. Fourth quarter, 21 20. Advantage Dawson, they won it 78 65. Shooting percentage, Dawson got 14 more shots up than this like region. They were 33 of 7, 47 percent, 6 of 15 on 3, 40 percent. They were 6 of 7 for the line, 86 percent. For the Royals, 21 of 56. Again, 70 attempts, the Lake Region, 56. 21 of 56 for the Royals, 38 percent, 5 of 24 from long range, 21 percent. 18 of 20 from the line. 90 percent. Rebound. 38 35. Dark in the advantage there. 12 off in the rebound. They relied on the black. Sabira Ahayeva had seven rebounds. Big four for Spryan Jenkins. Blake Richards got 11 rebounds. Lauren Amaro. Six from Tiziana Weezy. Haley Brandon had six assists in the game. Blake Richard got five from Brooke Blanick. Points on turnovers, 25 and 12. Jones for the advantage there. Second chance point, seven, six, Blake Richard. Points on the bench. Straight jump on the Johnson bench, 21 8. Biggest lead of the game, 20 points by Johnson. There were two ties, one lead change. Johnson wins it for the victory. They are now 12 and 10 overall. They are 10 and 3 in the Mondag. Lake Region dropped to 15 and 8 overall. 7 and 7 in the Mondag. Post game dance have been brought to you by Monster Lawn, I'm receiving in landscaping of Devil's Point. Everything you need for your backyard right there in their backyard. Check them out. They're located just off Highway 2 East in Devil's Point, north of the Sleep Inn. Call 662. 662 7174. Dig them up on Facebook, Monster Lawn. Hydra seating and landscaping of Devil's Life. We have the name of P.S. Kowajdor, player of the game. Well, I tell you what, you get 14 points from Zoya Jenkins. She averages seven. She's going to share it with Haley Brandon. Good game for Zoya Jenkins. She had the 14 points, hit her first three of the year. She went seven of 14 from the field. I can't be right. Uh, that page and my page will walk six total rebounds. Meanwhile, 
Look at the game that Ailey Brandon had. He had 16 points. Ailey Brandon with 16 points. He also had... And six to sell. Ailey Brandon and Dwyane Jenkins are going to share in your PS Combined Door players of the game. Congratulations to both. You can depend on PS Combined Door for full service combined door installation and repair, whether it be commercial, residential, or agriculture door. PS Combined Door is offering service to Devils Lake, Grand Fork, and the surrounding community. They have done so since 1974. Call 662 door, go online, pscomarnstores.com. PS Combined Stores, Highway 2 East, in Double Flight, and in Grand Fork. Final again, Dawson 78, Lake Region 65. Tell you what, Steph, take a two minute break, a check of weather. We'll take it right back out of that. We'll talk and visit with Lake Region State head coach Jared Marshall. But we'll be back here in about five minutes.
minutes without a point. And Miles Community College got the win. Dawson, 17 and four overall. They're in first place in the bond deck at 11 and one. Their last two games, they beat Willowson 94-62 and Bonville on the road 188. These two teams played on the 5th of November and Dawson got the victory 85 to 71. Standings in the Mondack. For the men, Dawson Trinity College 11 and 1. North Dakota State College of Science 11 and 2. Dakota College at Bondo and United Tribes both 9 and 4. Bismarck State 5 and 8. Miles Community College 3 and 11. Lake Region State in Williston 2 and 11. Well, we're going to jump right in. Let's hear from Jared Marshall, head coach of the Royal. That is Jared Marshall, head coach of the Royals of Lake Region State. Been a tough year, three and 19 overall, two and 11 in the conference. Today's game brought to you in part by Horizon Financial Bank of Munich, Osnabrück, Devils Lake, Bismarck, and Langdon, and the Pizza Ranch of Devils Lake. We'll be back. We're going to meet the lineups when we return to the Sports Center in 90 seconds.
right, we're going to meet the study lot of They're being brought to you by Lake Region Fitness. Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome once again to the Devil's Lake Sports Center and tonight's matchup. Featuring the visiting Dawson Community College Buccaneers. Group fitness classes, personal training, and your Lake Region State College Royals. Spray tan and all you need to reach your fitness goals. Basketball fans, let's meet the start of the lineups. First, we're visiting the Buccaneers. 3,900. Assist for sophomore, number five, Aiden Fischel. For Dawson, they'll go to the back of Aiden Fischel. Let's take a look at Scobie, Montana. Assist for the five, freshman, number 20, Walker Dillman. A six foot four sophomore, number 22, Joe Empoyo. Empoyo is out of the. And a six foot six sophomore, number 25, Dick Jonathan. Head coach of the Buccaneers, Joe Peterson. 5'11 freshman out of Billings, Montana. Forwards will be. And now here they are, the stunning five for the Gillon Lake Region State College Gillons. A Jonaku. A 6 foot 2 freshman, number 5, Bonnie. Head coach Joe Peterson. A 6 foot 5 freshman, number 15, Bo Amon. A 6 foot sophomore, number 21, Mason Brown. In the backcourt, four Lake Bridges. A 6 foot 3 sophomore, number 23, Javion Bonnie. With Mason Brown, a 6 foot sophomore. And 6 foot 8 freshman, number 44. Let's carry it. Your Royals are led by Jerry Marshall. He's assisted by the Morgan Brown and Chandy Green. Six five and a freshman out of Anger's Brown. Your official awards from the evening's team by Logan Brown, Harry Olsen, and Chad There you go. The starting lineups. They have been brought to you by. Lake Region Fitness City Plaza, Highway 2 at Devil's Lake, Call 662 3900. Help you reach all of your fitness goals. Lake Region Fitness. All right, jumping center, Ajaniku will go up against Bariega. 20 minutes on the clock. Dawson looking for the swing. Domestics tomorrow, Bismarck State. Ball into the tip is going to be controlled. It's finally going to be whacked back into the hand of Brown. Brown will walk it up into the front court, man to man. He'll be guarded by Fischel. Brown, bounce pass right side, knocked away, and nearly a steal on the perimeter by Peyton Sanders. Sanders into the passing lane there, the 5'11 freshman out of Billings, Montana. Ball be inbounded at midcourt. Inbounds pass, Brown lobs it in, Byers. Byers across the timeline to his left, picked up by Ajana Kuhn, now two defenders at him. Skip pass, Brown, open wing, three on the white. Mason Brown is the third three of the year. We're the five three balls, nothing. what a great finish. Similar start to the women's game. Right side, driving with official, he'll kick it out, far corner. Dolman a three, that is short. Rebound, Byers has got it. He had it taken away, down low, layup is good. Byers had it for a moment, Tate Sanders eventually ended up with the ball in the deuce. Backcourt pressure, steal, Fischl, he'll get it out, shot for three, put up by Impale. He misses that, but a foul's gonna be called. Foul's gonna go. Foul's number 25, David Ajanaku, that is his first. Ajanaku's first gonna get the foul. foul. David Ajanaku is first, team foul one. Inbounds pass comes in. Byers, 3 2 Royal. Now goes to Brown, nearly a turnover backcourt. Floats it ahead, grab by Ahmad. Ahmad will give it to Brown. Brown dribbling down the perimeter, leaves it out. Ahmad's going to drive to his left, cut off. Now he's going to send it back out. Brown, well away from the hoop, 9 to shoot. Brown to his left, he'll flip it. Bariag has it stripped, still in away. A lead pass goes ahead. Fischel, reverse layup, no good, but a foul's going to be called. Coming up with that loose ball was Joy and Pollo. That's all going to be called against. That's number 21. Brown. 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 First, 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 team ball. first team ball. Start of the free throw line. Aiden Fischel averages seven points per game. He'll shoot two. Free throws up. No good. As a team, it's 70% from the line. They have made, has Dawson, 196 threes on the year. 
63 of them by Joe and Pale. Free throw's good. Tied at three. Bad court, Byers will give it up. Ahmad, he'll float over the double team. Got it ahead to Brown. Brown left side. Brown dribbling in play. Started by Doman. He'll leave it on top. Ahmad, two defenders chase him. Now to Barriega. He's got two defenders after him. To Ahmad, gets to the rim, lays it up, missed it. Rebo knocked loose, and it's finally going to be controlled there by Ajanaku. Ajanaku, an official. Official drives paint, cut off, spins, puts it up in traffic, blocked. Ahmad was there, Brown was there, and Ahmad comes up with a loose ball. Ahmad will go the other way. Mo Ahmad, he'll leave it to Brown. Brown into the front court, two minutes gone by. Brown, good aggressive defense. Nearly a steal, Doman. He'll get rid of it, Ahmad, right side, Byers. Byers off dribble, paint, pace from 10, no good. Ajanaku might have got a piece of that. Long rebound, Barriega with it, put it up, that's going to be blocked. Impale got a piece of that. Clearing it, it is going to be Sanders. Sanders gets it to Fisher. Fisher down the right side, hands it to Sanders. Out of the elbow it goes. With it there, Ajanaku. Ajanaku backing down, he's going to pivot, he goes with a 10 block. Barry ain't got a piece of that rebound, Brown. No, it's going to be Vonick with the rebound. He got it to Brown, and Brown's going to be called with a clear off with the elbow. As he just blocked, that's his second. Royal Brown, second, second team foul, two. Turnover number two. Ball belongs to Dawson. Throwing it in will be Peyton Sanders. He'll get it in the official. 3 3 your score. 17 25 to play. Fischl, down the right side it goes, Impale. Impale kicks it back out, Sanders to his left, into the paint, can't get a shot off. He's going to be called for a walk. Turnover, Dawson, their first. Gage Polstead, eight for the Royals. Coming into the game, Gage Polstead, he's a 6'6 sophomore, Drayton, North Dakota. Setting down will be Brown with the two fouls. Back court with it, Bonnick gives it to Byers. Byers gives it up. Ahmad, Ahmad to Polstead. Polstead leaves it. And into the front court with it, Byers. 17 3 to point. Right side, Polstead is first touch. Polstead to Byers. Byers to his left. Over time of the screen went Fischl, not a Polstead. Polstead fires inside through the white. They put a lot of pressure on the ball. They chase with two and gamble. Turnover three, Lake Region State. So the ball back to Dawson Community College. 3-3, 16-52 to go. Fischl will bring it up with a left-handed dribble. Fischl down the far side. He's going to drive to the rim. Puts it up off glass. Missed it. Good job of staying vertical that time by Ahmad. Out it comes and Payo shoots the three. No. Rebound cleared by Bonnick. Got it to Polsta. He'll give it to Barriega. To Byers. Byers dribbling again, chased by two, backs it up, sends it, corner Ahmad, drives base and gets down low, and he's fouled on the way up, Fischl. Aiden Fischl's first, Johnson second the team foul. Fischl, first personal. Mo Ahmad Johnson. will go to the line, he averages eight a game as a team like Bridget State, 69% from the strike. Mo Ahmad out of France. Mo Ahmad, the Today's game brought to you in part by Leading Edge Equipment, Michigan, Hamden, Devils Lake, and Carrington. And Wall Family Automotive, Devil's Lake. Free throw's good, he'll get another. Four to three, Lake Region in front by a point. Ahmad, the right-handed delivery, no good. Rebound going to be cleared by Doman. He'll give it up to Sanders. Sanders, Royal set up in a half-court trap. Pass back away by Byers, picked up by Barnick. Barnick drives back, Barnick to the rim, layup, good. Noah Bonnick off the turn. Bonnick for the range. Like Fischel. Fischel gets it in. Sanders back to Fischel. In that half court trapping look. Not a Dillman. Hits some pale. Pale at the elbow. Back it comes. Fischel. Fischel. Right side Sanders. Drives paint. Left hand layup score. He was able Peyton to turn Sanders the court. Scoring. Peyton Sanders averages 11 a game. He's got four. 6 5. Like Bridget. Ahmad gets trapped back court. Steps through it. Got it ahead to Barriega. Ariega, he'll leave it to Ahmad, center circle, he'll set it up, 15-40 to play, first half, 6-5 Royals. Ahmad to his left, cut off by Dillman, double team. Ariega fires inside, and it goes into the hands of Polstead, and Polstead's going to be fouled. Five new players coming in. Toss number 10, Peyton Sanders. Sanders first, 
going to be a lane change. Ty Bartman in. Chris Davidson in. Charlie Crower in. Yeah, who else we got coming in? Number 30, Alekas Nika, 6'7", freshman out of Albania. Inbounding will be Ahmad, baseline left, gets it in, Polstead now to Ahmad. Ahmad dribbles to his right, stops, looks for help, sends it inside, Polstead by himself, only missed the lamp. Nika with a rebound, gets it ahead. Buckman, Buckman, right side, man open, shot for three, no good. That came up short as the shot was missed there by Damon Gos uh, Grovan. Damon Grovan. He is 6'4", a freshman out of Lodge, Grass, Montana. He missed it short. Ball went out of bounds. Royals will have the ball. Inbound pass. Comes in Byers. Byers sends it front court. It's knocked away. Buckman knocked it away. And picking up the loose ball, bringing it back. Brewer gets it at Buckman. Free throw line. Corner it goes. Davidson, a three. Good. Chris Davidson. Davidson hits the three from the corner. His seventh of the year. The lead goes to Johnson at 7'6". 14.53 to go, first half. Pass front court. Bonick, Bonick trying to split a double team and a foul's gonna be called. Two defenders right there, Kruer along with Buckman. Foul's gonna go. Foul set number three. Charlie Kruer, that is his first, his first team foul four. Inbound, it will be Polstead, far side front court. Seven to six, Dawson. Polstead gets it in by her. Fires between the circles, wearing that mask to protect the broken nose. Pass to the wing, knocked away. Davidson, ball out of bounds, stays Lake Region. Today's game brought to you in part by Farmers Union Insurance, Devil's Lake, and the Farbo Harrington Insurance Agency, Handu, and the White House Cafe. Devil's Lake, Holiday Mall is the location. Inbounds fast, Byers. Byers to his right, sends it down to Bonnick in the corner, back to Byers. Byers between the circles, over to Bonnick. He's got to try the three. Shot clock down to three. No good. Barriega got the long rebound. Barriega had it tipped away, but retrieved. Barriega leaves it out top. Byers. Fresh 20 on that. Byers settles three. He got it. Damian Byers. Byers. His 28th three of the year. The Royals back in front of the team. The elbow goes in the hands of Nika. Nika leaves it. Buckman. Buckman sends it near side with the Dare Crewer. Crewer drives, shoots it over two defenders, back close. Rebound to Flex to Byers. Byers snaps it ahead, Ahmad. Ahmad crosses over the dribble, drives, gets into the paint, ball knocked way out of bounds. Last touch by Buckman, and we're going to have a media timeout. Media timeout, your score with 13.52 to go in the half. It is Lake Region 9, Dawson 7 will be back in a minute. Face the ground, 9-7 advantage belonging to Lake Region State Royals will have the ball baseline right. Mason Brown is going to throw it in. Brown looks, sends it in. Baseline Denver London's come into the game. He'll give it up. Brown out top, Polstead, Bonnick, now to Brown playing with the two fouls. Back it comes Bonnick. Denver 1, 6'8", freshman out of Melbourne, Australia. Bonnick, Brown, long, three, got it! 
the three nailed Mason. Second of the game is 44th of the year. Buckman drives down the baseline. He'll send it inside. Nika lays it up. Good. Alika's Nika. Nika gets the bucket in first two. 12 9. Lead cut the three. Front court, Bonick. Bonick's going to continue on the drive. Banks it up and out. He shot it over the top of Brewer. Bonick gets the bucket. He's got four. The lead is five. Back quickly, front court, far side. Ball swung around Davidson. He'll give it to Buckman. Buckman on the right wing. Buckman sends it inside Nika, free throw line area. Back Brewer, Brewer on the baseline, cut off there, Polstead. Now to Buckman on the wing, leaves a Nika, three good. Nika, three. Nika knocks down the three. Alexis Nika, he's got five. 14-12 Royal. Bonnick gets it, Byers. Byers into the front court against the press. Byers dumps it off, Polstead corner. Leaves it, Byers on the wing. Byers got Buckman on him. Byers says, I'll shoot it over the top. Three! Champion Byers! Going to hit it. Going to hit Blocking foul. Denver Lund not quick enough. Couldn't cut off the baseline enough. Lund's first personal team foul three. Also number three. Today's game three. brought to you in part by the first, first community credit union on Devil's Lake. Locations throughout Central and Eastern North Dakota. And H.E. Everson Company, Devil's Lake. Ball's going to be knocked away by Denver Lund, picked up by Byers, but he stepped out of bounds. Turnover each way, fourth, Lake Mike, Region, Mike, third, Mike, Dawson. Mike, Mike. Mike. Inbound aim, baseline left will be Dawson's. Buckman will throw it in. Buckman looking, pass goes, baseline, Nika hands it off. Buckman, 15 foot baseline, jumper no. Rebound tap loose, pulls dead out of bounds. It's going to stay with Dawson. 12 10 to play here in the opening half. Royals by five at 17 12. Inbounds pass, Davidson on the perimeter. He's got a three today. Now to Buckman out top. Buckman driving against Brown. He got into the paint, banks up, air rolls off the rim, no good. Rebound knocked loose, pulls dead, but a foul on pulls dead. Gage Polstead's got his first fourth team foul. Foul's number 34, Gage Polstead. First personal, Royals. Ball the inbound and near side. Front court. It's going to be thrown in by Brewer. Brewer looking. Pass comes in, Davidson. Davidson drop step. He's going to drive. Got to the rim. Layup score. Davidson. Davidson with a quick drop step. Beat Lake Region. Now Byers wants the dribble, picked up Buckman. Davidson, Davidson lays it That's in. That's Davidson. Davidson was two, uh, two quick buckets, fifth turnover Lake Region. 17-16 Royals. Back with it, Bonnick cut off on the drive. He'll go jump hook, left hand, no, but a foul, Brewer. Brewer is fine, he cut off. Bonnick nice three, 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 came down a bit. Brewer second, team Plus foul five. Hit. To the free throw line, Noel Bonnick yeah, to shoot two. He's no got ball. four points. 11.36 to go, first half, 17-16. Royals with a lead, Bonnick free throw short. Here comes five new ones. They got 10 players, they just sub five at a time. The original Stetter's in. Impeo back in, Fischl back in. Ajanaku, Sanders, and Dolman. They've done this for, ever since I remember Joe Peterson at the helm. You gotta be blessed to have that kind of depth. And you have to have players who are willing to accept the role. Second free throw is good. Well, I'm not I'm for the Royals. Also into the game, Sam Roberts, six seven freshman, Melbourne, Australia. Polstead and Bonnet go out. Barry Ager went out as well. That's, he came out when Lund came in. Backcourt Fisher will give it to Sanders. Sanders into the front court, 18-16 Royal. 11-25 to play. Impaled, gets it back. Fischel, Gilman, high post area. It goes two. Sanders, out of the corner goes. Gilman a three, and he got it. Walker Gilman for three. Gilman gets the three, his 14th of the year, 1918 Dawson. Now the lead pass is going to be thrown away. Ahmad over led Byers, out of bounds, turnover six, Lake Region. They get you into running a bit more than you feel comfortable with, and they stay fresh with all the substitution. 
Sanders inbounds it. Fischl, Fischl into the front court. Between the circles it goes Ajanaku. Ajanaku to Empoyo. Empoyo drives, got to the rim, layup, got. Joe Empoyo. Joe Empoyo with a nice little change of pace. Dribble, got to the rim, 21-18. Advantage, Dawson Lund with a catch midcourt. And a foul is going to be called against Sanders. At least from here on out, 10.42 to go here in this first half. Inbounds pass, midcourt, Brown. Brown gets it in. Fires backcourt, he'll land it to Brown. Brown will set it up, man-to-man -man defense. They do a lot of cheating and chasing out of that. Left side, it goes very important to stay spaced. Roberts, Lund between the circles. Left side, Byers. Byers baseline pulls up 15 foot. Nothing but that. Javion Byers, 21-20, late cut to one. Empoyo, free throw line, pulls up with a jumper, no good. Rebound, whack free, it's going to be run down, Byers in the corner. Lund's the one that tapped that to the corner. Byers got it, Brown, late pass, Ahmad right side. Ahmad, Lund out top, love that, it goes Robert. Robert sends it inside, ball out of bounds, went off the knee of Sanders out of bounds. That pass came a half second late, and that allowed Sanders to get into the passing lane. Brown will inbound it, baseline left. Mason Brown gets it in, Ahmad on the wing. Ahmad to Byers. Byers between the circles. Now we get a foul, it's a hold away from the ball, and it's gonna go against Ajanaku. David Ajanaku. David Ajanaku, second, second 17 foul. So one of the bonus, Denver Lund, seven point three. Denver Lund. And one here, a chance to tie, a chance to give the lead to Lake Region State. They trail it, 21-29, 57 to go. Here in this first half, free throw too strong. Rebound, Ahmad is going to be called for the foul. He tipped it with his left hand, had the trail arm wrapped around Doman. Mo Ahmad, that is his first Royals day. 21-20, Dawson the lead. Royals are going to extend the pressure to three-quarter court. Ahmad playing the point of that. 1-2-2 in nature, now they drop back. Fischl will bring it up. Fischl goes to his right. Royals in the zone. It's an illegal screen. Ajanaku just got his third. He just leaned into Brown and knocked him over. David Ajanaku is third. Team David Ajanaku third. Team five other players will come back in for Dawson. Five starters out. Five subs in. Ball's going to belong to Lake Bridget near side, back court. Roberts will throw it in. Dawson by one, 21 20. Dawson women victorious, 78 65. Inbounds pass, Byers, half court trap now. Here they go. Byers down the right side, it goes. Ahmad. Ahmad gets it away from the sideline. Byers, left side, Brown. Brown dribbling to his right. It is zone here for Dawson. Free throw line long. Byers. Byers goes to his right. Stops, needs it out, let ball knocked away, got it back. Gives it to Brown, Brown bounce pass, back door, Ahmad can't handle it. Knocked away by Davidson, picked up Ahmad. Ahmad, two on the shot clock, stolen. Nika comes up with the ball, turnover lake region number seven. Ahead it comes Brewer, Brewer, trailer it goes with it, Buckman. And a timeout's going to be taken as Nika's shaken up. Might have got hit in the midsection. <laughs> Bariega back in, Byers out, Bonnie, Bonnie and Lund will Bariega both in for the right. Nika says he's all right to stay in. 21-20. One point lead. Inbounds pass comes in. Grovan gets it in. Buckman inside Grovan with a left hand, little underhanded flip, no good. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there by Ahmad. Ahmad will give it up. And bringing it back will be Brown. Nine minutes to go in the first half. Brown sends it down left side. Roberts three on the way. It's no good. Weak side rebound knocked away from Barriega out of bounds. Nika tipped it away. And it's going to stay with Lake Region. Alexis Nika from Albania. Wonder if he's ever been the phenomenon. Inbounds pass comes in. Bonnick on the perimeter. He'll go to his left. Gets down to the blocks. Cut off. Turns, tough turnaround, fade away, no good. Nico with a rebound. He'll end it off. It'll go to Grovan. Grovan gives it up. Brewer, a three, no good. Bariega can't get the rebound. Nika tips it to the perimeter. 
Gets grabbed there and brought back in hurry. Bonnick. Bonnick to the room. Layup good. Bonnick hustled that ball down to mid Bonnick. Check the distance. He's got seven. The Royals by one. 22 21. Driving back with it. It's going to be missed on the drive. Grovon missed it. Rebound. Bariega gets it off to Brown. Brown into the front court. Brown is at the arc. He'll leave it Bonnick. Bonnick bluffs the three. Goes to Brown. Brown overlooking the defense. Gives it Bonnick. Bonnick hangs on. They got Neek out there playing on the perimeter. In that defense, Roberts with a three on the way, in and out, no. Nika comes down to get the rebound. Off it goes to Buckman. Buckman to the arc, drop past Davidson. Davidson bluffs the drive, now takes it, base on, cut off Roberts. He'll switch to his right hand, beautiful move. Davidson with a bucket. Chris Davidson with the Davidson with the basket. Left, left, then tried left, went back to the right, and he beat Roberts. 23-22, fifth lead change. Advantage Dawson, right side Roberts, leaves it. Abad between the circles, now to Brown. Brown bounce pass, Roberts on the wing. He'll go high post. Abad drop step, paint. Five footer, good. And come on, come on. For the team. First field goal for Abad. 24 23, Lake Region, 7 18 to go. First half. Brewer, Nika, Nika bombs away. Three guard. Alexis Nika is second three. He's got eight on the air, 26 24. Johnson, ball knocked away, backcourt by Kroor. Loose ball. We've got a rugby scrum and a jump ball. That'll go to Dawson. Possession. Coming back into the game. And Poyo back in. Sanders back in. Doman back in. Still feeling his midsection as Nika hit the three. He comes out. Also coming out will be Drovon and Kruer. Buckman will stay on the floor, as did Davidson. 26-24 Dawson. Inbound. Empoyo gets it in. Buckman. Now he leaves it. Davidson. Three. It's on the way by the left hander. No good. Rebound clear to Amon. Amon. Now he's an elbow. They're going to call the elbow. He just swung the elbow around and he caught Sanders right in the nose. Now they've got to have a discussion. That'll be a flagrant or what? Sanders grabbing that nose. Timeout on the floor. We get a timeout on the floor. The media timeout. We have a break. Your score, Dawson Community College 26, Lake Region 24. We're back in a minute. Play reporting against the Royals. Media timeout. Full timeout. Mm. A flagrant one is the call against Moamon to that elbow. And it burned. He wasn't trying to whack anyone, but he had the ball. And he did swing the elbows around, and it hit Sanders in the face. Sanders will go to the line. Hayden Sanders averages 11 a game. He's got four points tonight. One of two from the strike for Johnson tonight. They shoot it at a 70% clip. Twenty-six, twenty-four. Dawson delayed six fifty-two to play. They're gonna give him another one. So Sanders will try it again. Right-handed shot is up. Switch. Today's game brought to you in part by Clements Roots Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. And creative impressions, both of Devil's Light. Second free throw missed, but Dawson will have the ball. 27-24, they have the lead. 
also bringing you the game is Pearl's Leg Sand of the Cove, west of Devil's Leg in Creel Bay. And Poyle gets it in, two. Bachman, Bachman goes inside, that's a hole. Davidson with the catch, drop step layup, but he was held by Byers. JV on Byers, first personal, 17 points, what an opponent. JV on Byers, first personal. Chris Davidson is proven to be a handful in his Davidson first half, nine points, average is not a game. Down it from the perimeter, he's done it off the dribble and there on a post up. Not much to him. Free throws up, that's short. Rebound is going to be claimed by Barriega. He is 6 4 from Melbourne, Australia. It's Chris Davidson. Very slender. Fires with it between the circle. Right side it goes. Roberts. Roberts gives it a mod. A mod dribbles down low. He gets down deep. Put it up. Missed. Got his own rebound. Tries again and an out back in. Come on. He's got five. Lead cut to one. 6 24 to play. Run Gordon Foyle. He gives it to Buckman. He'll fire 15 footer short. Rebound though. Davidson scampers it down. Davidson on top. He'll give it to Buckman. Buckman perimeter. He'll land it off Sanders. Sanders on the right wing. Sanders to his left. Cross over the dribble. Guarded by Roberts. Turns the corner a bit. Puts up a shot. No good. Two defenders were right there, and the rebound belongs to Oman. He'll give it to Byers. Byers the other way with 5.57 to go. First half. Left side of Ahmad. He's guarded by Davidson. Ahmad leaves it out top. Bariega. Ahmad takes the hand off from him. Ahmad dribbling perimeter. He'll give it to Byers. Byers fires up a three. Go on! Byers has got it well. Byers. His third Byers. three. Byers. The lead Byers. back to Lake Region. 29-27. Welcome back to the lineup, J.B. on Byers. Missed the game Sunday with that broken nose. Showman, Sanders, cross over the dribble, lost it, got it back. He'll give it to Davidson. Davidson dribbles to the free throw line. Throws it behind in Poyo, but he'll track it down. Tend to shoot. In Poyo to his right. Jump pass. Davidson. Davidson leaves it Sanders. Three is on the way. Short, long rebound. It's Bonick. Bonick's going to drive the other way. Bonick stops as he's cut off nicely by Buckman. Lob out goes Byers. Byers between the circles. Byers to his right, steps through. Teardrop up good. Javion Byers split two defenders. Slips it up from eight feet. Got it. 31 27 Lake Region. Buckman hangs down the line. Byers to three. And Poyle. Corner it goes. Buckman on top. Davidson. He'll try the three on the way. Sweat. Chris Davidson, Chris second Davidson. three. He's got 12. 31 30 Lake Region. 4 35 to play. Here in his first half, logging it up, JV on Byers. Byers sends it down to the corner of Ahmad. Ahmad inside Barriega. He'll step deep, too deep, and he travels. Well, you get underneath the cylinder behind the backboard, not much you could do if you pick up the dribble. He's got long legs, but he can't old. pivot that far. Go on, like in under more. Aaron Dunn, KZZY, DoubleBlackRadioWorks.com. Brown back in. Robert sits down. Davidson sits down. And back into the game is Grovon. Into the front court. Fischl back in there as well. Fischl with it. Gets it to Empoil. Right back to Fischl. To Empoil. Wide open. It's got blocked by from behind, but he got his own hey, rebound. Boy, boy Empoil was wide open inside. Recovering to get the block was a mod, but Empoil got his own rebound to put it back in. 32-31. Ninth lead change, first half. Dawson in front. Driving Bonnick. Trying to hand it off. Driving it, Ahmad down low, got it off, Bonick. Bonick backs it off, tries again. Oh, he beat Goldman. He pulled it back as if he was going to pull it off. And then he re-attacked, no, and Bonick was dying. Lead back to Lake Region. Back quickly, Fischl and Paint turn around four-footer court. Rebound's going to be cleared by, cleared off by Brown. Brown the other way, 33-32 Royal. Now Byers midcourt, left side, Bonick. 3.30 to play, free throw line, Barriega. Ariega hands it Bonick. Bonick's going to try a three on the way. Hit rims off now, and the rebound cleared by Fischel. Fischel into the front court. Fischel bounce pass, corner Sanders. Leaves it off. Drove on a three, short. Barely got iron. Brown with a defensive rebound. 3 12 to go in the opening half. 33 32 advantage. Lake Region State. Front court with a basketball between the circles. JB on Byers. Chased by Drove on. He tips it away and out of bounds. Nika will check back in for the red flag. Nika in, Nika in, going out will be Doman. 
Today's game brought to you in part by the State Bank of Lakota and the Farmers Union Oil Company of Lakota and Ag Resources, Maddox. Inbounds pass, Byers with an extended right side. Over goes Brown. He'll fire three. That's off the mark. No good. Rebound, Bariegi. He's bumping a foul. Bariegi got the rebound. I think it's Joe and Poyo that's going to get the foul. It is. It's his first. Well, it's foul Joe and Poyo. That is his and first. Poyo's got his second to the foul. free throw line. Will be playing. Bariegi. He'll shoot one in the bonus. He averages five again. The big fella out of the Twin Cities. 2.50 to go. First half, 33-32. Lake Region with the advantage. Right-handed delivery is up too strong. Nika with a rebound. Nika hands it off Sanders. Sanders flies front court. Sanders going to take it all the way to the rim. Lays it up. Missed it. Rebound knocked loose. Out of bounds. Lost touch. Bariega. Boy, Sanders got a pretty good look, but that shot really didn't come close. Ball be inbounded, baseline right, throwing it in will be Fisher. Now we get a bit of a shove. <laughs> Nika trying to create some space. So now Fischl to throw it in. He does so in Poyle. In Poyle to his left, stop and go dribble to the rim, lays it up left hand. Enjoy in Poyle. Nice patient. He's got six to lead back. Two, Dawson, 34-33 by my count. That's 11 lead changes. Two and a half minutes to go. First half. Fire splits two defenders into the paint. Ball knocked away. And it's coming up with it will be Nika. Turnover 10, Lake Region. Nika had it knocked away by Bariego. Last touch. And Poyo. Boy, all out of bounds. Ball out of bounds belongs to Lake Region. Royals with it. Far side, front court. Tomorrow night, we're in Warwick. Warwick, St. John, Class B boys basketball. Pre-game 7-10, 7-30 tip. Friday, Devils Lake, Fargo North. Double letter here, 5-25 pre-game. Monday, we go to four wins. Four wins, been a walk in host team rugby. Right side with the basketball. On the wing, Bonnick. Baseline Ahmad. He'll turn from 10, left it short. Nika with a rebound. Hands it off quickly, Sanders. Sanders front court. Good transition defense, Royals. Now to Empoio at three. No good. Weak side rebound to Mod. Ahmad will leave it off. Coming back with it will be Byers, 34-33. Dawson with a lead, 155 to play. First half, Brown. Ariega out top. Right side, Bonnick. Bonnick sends it to Byers. Byers with Sanders right with him. Byers to his left, can't get a shot up. Now forces one up that short. Not a good luck. Rovan with a rebound. Gives it up, Fischl. Fischl. Free throw line, Bank Grovon, he'll fire a three on the way, got it! Damon Grovon, his 46th three of the year, his first points of the night. 37-33, Dawson. It goes at Ahmad, Ahmad to Bonnick, Bonnick down to the baseline, cut off, he'll go drop step, ball knocked away, went right to Bariega. He spins it and tries to put it on block by Nika. Rebound Fischl, Fischl will push, fast tempo Dawson. Trailer, impale. Now goes to the corner. Rovon, three, no good. Rebounds cleared out of there by Bonnick. Bonnick, front court a minute to go. 37-33. Dawson, Myers, Ahmad. Right side it goes, Brown. Brown sends it, Bariega, free throw line. Hands it to Ahmad, he can't turn the corner. Fades from eight, no. Rebound, tip good. Bariega, timeout Bariega, taken. Bariega, with the basket. Once it, Bariega's first Royals. goal point. Timeout taken, Royals. 30 seconds. 35 timeout. seconds to go, first half. Your score, Johnson, 37, Lake Region, 35. We're back in 30. Thirty-seven, thirty-five. the advantage belonging. Two-point lead, Dawson. 45 seconds to go. Ball be rolled. Picking it up will be Fischl. Fischl into the front court. To his right, 
Can't turn the corner. Engineer bounces it out. Sanders launches the three. That's short. Good box out late for Egypt. Rebound grabbed by Ahmad. Roberts did an excellent job on the box out. Now to Byers. Byers back front court. Four second differential. Game clock, shot clock. Bonick with it left wing. Back it comes mid court. Byers. Screen from Barriega. Now the bounce pass. Trying to go to Barriega. Ball knocked away. Barriega got it back. Lays it up left hand. That's Barriega's Turns into a bucket. We are tied at 37. Shot clock off, 10 seconds ago. Fischl drives down to the baseline, cut off there. Back out and Pollo, three caught! Oh, and Pollo nails the three, and that's gonna do it for the first half. And Pollo with nine is first three. It's 64th of the year. Dawson Community College, 40, Lake Region State, 37. We'll be back after this. majority of my scholarship money is academic. I'm part of the women's basketball team. That scholarship was a really big part of my decision. The scholarships that I've received while attending Lake Region State have made it very affordable. There's just tons of opportunities for scholarships for students that want to attend classes at Lake Region State College. There's plenty of money out there. It's just about applying and going and getting it. I already committed here for baseball, so I wanted to decide what I wanted to go into. Not all the programs, WinTech just appealed to me the most. Starting second semester, I'll be applying for jobs, hopefully working full-time for a wind farm starting this summer. I've always kind of been a hands-on person. I knew I didn't want to have an office job. I think my favorite part about that was every single day for two weeks straight, we'd be going up tower, learning about different aspects of the tower, how to fix and maintain it. It's one of the fastest growing career paths in the country, and I knew that once I graduated, I would have a job. See your future come together at Lake Region State College. Train for in-demand careers part-time, full-time, or online. At Lake Region State College, we change lives. How would you like a high-tech, high-paying career that could include working for airlines, energy companies, defense contractors, or simulator manufacturers? Sound good? Then consider the Simulator Maintenance Technician Program offered by Lake Region State College in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. About a year and a half ago, I applied with Lockheed Martin. Uh, they said I all the work experience because I did 10 years of electrical, but I needed the education to back it up. Um, there was three schools in the country at the time, and Lake Region was highly recommended as the top. Um, they told me verbatim that they try to snag as many of Lake Region students as they possibly can. Here, you'll receive hands-on training in computer systems, digital and solid-state electronic devices, printed circuit troubleshooting, and a variety of other systems essential to the operation of state-of-the-art simulators. The professors, they're enthusiastic. They come from the industry, so it's not just them reading out of a book. It's hands-on. They give examples of things that they experience in their careers, and they tell us things that we should expect on a day-to-day kind of unusual situations, specialties, things of that nature. SimTech at Lake Region State College prepares you for a career. Students in the program are encouraged to participate in an elective two to three month on-site cooperative education experience with a simulator maintenance crew. Earlier, we decided to get the Sim Club up and running as well. So it's been very active, a lot of passion here. And so it's, it's really exciting, everything that we're doing. Get your high tech, high paying career off to a great start. For more information about this program, as well as other online and on-campus programs, student living and more, visit us today at lrsc.edu. When I first arrived here, I had the intention of moving back to New Mexico and working for Lockheed, but after being in this program, learning everything that I have thus far, it's opened the entire world.
How would you like a high-tech, high-paying career that could include working for airlines, energy companies, defense contractors, or simulator manufacturers? Sound good? Then consider the Simulator Maintenance Technician Program offered by Lake Region State College in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. About a year and a half ago, I applied with Lockheed Martin. Uh, they said I had the work experience because I did 10 years of electrical, but I needed the education to back it up. Um, there was three schools in the country at the time, and Lake Region was highly recommended as the top. Um, they told me verbatim that they try to snag as many of Lake Region students as they possibly can. Here, you'll receive hands-on training in computer systems, digital and solid-state electronic devices, printed circuit troubleshooting, and a variety of other systems essential to the operation of state-of-the-art simulators. The professors, they're enthusiastic. They come from the industry, so it's not just them reading out of a book. It's hands-on. They give examples of things that they experienced in their careers, and they tell us things that we should expect on a day-to-day kind of unusual situations, specialties, things of that nature. SimTech at Lake Region State College prepares you for a career. Students in the program are encouraged to participate in an elective two to three month on-site cooperative education experience with a simulator maintenance crew. Earlier, we decided to get the Sim Club up and running as well. So it's been very active, a lot of passion here. And so it's, it's really exciting, everything that we're doing. Get your high tech, high paying career off to a great start. For more information about this program, as well as other online and on-campus programs, student living and more, visit us today at lrsc.edu. When I first arrived here, I had the intention of moving back to New Mexico and working for Lockheed, but after being in this program, learning everything that I have thus far, it's opened the entire world. The best thing about Lake Region State College is the faculty interaction and the one-on-one -on -one attention. When you come into a Lake Region, it's a family environment. We're small, we're intimate, we work with students one-on-one. Classrooms are smaller, so you get hands-on with every teacher. You get to really know them, so the relationship is great. There are people here to help you, like your instructors will take time. The atmosphere at Lake Region State College, I really feel, is like a family-type atmosphere. You know all your teachers, you know all your classmates. More of a family than I'd say a larger university. You get to know everybody and you get the one-on-one -on -one attention that you need. Everyone's saying good morning to you which I was not expecting. The smaller class size really helps because if you don't completely understand what you're going over, you don't have to battle a hundred different voices. The faculty and staff wants everybody to succeed and they really are there to look out for you.
Can the kids please get up the door? Can the kids please get up the door? You're going to go with Sandy and your mom? Huh? You're going with Sandy and your mom Friday? No, yep. mom. Why? Camper? No. 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 Actually, I should go, but I don't know if we can get back in time. Peace. Welcome back to the Devils Lake Sports Center, your halftime score of the men's game. Dawson Community College, 40, Lake Region State, 37. Nine late changes, two times in that first half. Dawson won the women's game, 78 to 65. We are certainly glad to have you along here. On KZZY Worldwide, LRRadioWorks.com. So we're going to get set to go. We'll take one more break. Johnson by three. Don't keep the same half the same way as the first box. That's going to be number five, Peyton Mitchell. Number 10, Peyton Sanders. Number 20, Walker Nomad. Number 22, Jordan Fisher. Number 25, David Jonathan. Your run to run with number five, Bill Ronnie. Number 15, Mo Ahmad. Number 21, Mason Brown. Number 23, Jimmy Dion Myers. Number 24, Plus Barriga. All right, here we go. 40 to 37. Dots in the lead. Going Poyos three with two seconds to go on the end of the first half. The difference right now. Today's game, and a big thank you to all of our sponsors. They do include Candu Lumber and Dakota Auctioneers, both of Candu and MDTC Devil's Life. Bound Ivor and Warwick, Region 4 Boys Basketball, Warwick hosting St. John's. 
7-10 pregame, 7-30 tip. Friday, Devils like it home to Fargo North. Girls game at 5.45, boys at 7.30, 5.25 tip. Monday, number one ranked full ones, Minnewaukee, winners of 39 in a row, they're at home. They are going to be taking on rugby. Pre-game 7-10, 7-30 tip. All right, here we go. Inbounds pass, Brown. Brown hands it off, Bonick. Bonick dribbles down the right wing. He'll give it to Byers. Byers had a good first half. Back up, Bariega. He won't shoot from there. He'll land it off, Brown. Brown over to Byers. Left side it goes, Ahmad. Ahmad goes baseline, can't get away from Dillman. Now to Brown. Brown going to drive. Hangs there, drops it off. Bariega lands. Bariega, Bariega with a bucket. Beautiful drop off that time by Mason Brown, 40 to 39. Next Royals basketball next Wednesday will be at home with Williston. Driving back, Fish will put it up. He is bothered by Bariega. Rebound to Ahmad. Ahmad will give it to Brown. Brown will go the other way. That goes to Ahmad. Ahmad hands it off. With it, perimeter buyers. Bonnick, right side it goes. Brown blocks the three, drives again. Out it comes Bonnick. Bonnick penetrates. Spins, puts up a tough shot, bank, no. Rebound, clear Dolman. Dolman gets it up, Sanders. Sanders flies front court. Trailer, Empoyo, three on the way, short. Weak side rebound, comes off to Ahmad. He led the Royals in rebounding in that first half. He'll give it to Bonnick, to Brown, right back to Bonnick. Bonnick will walk it up. Minute 15 gone, second half. The Bucks by one. Left side it goes. Byers, Byers, screen, Bariega, picked up. And he's picked up by Ajanaku driving. Fires to the rim, layup good. Fires with 15. That's the 10th lead change. Ajanaku has to be careful with those three fouls. Byers exploited that. Driving back, Fischel. Corner, Dolman. Three on the way. No good. Rebound, half loose. Foul's going to be called. It's going to go against Sanders. Foul's going to go against. Peyton Sanders, that's his that the number 10, Peyton Sanders, the personal bucks first. Gary Olsen with a call. Two Minot refs and one Devils Lake referee. Chad Ballmer from Devils Lake during the game. 41-40, Lake Bridger. Mason Brown floats a little half-court slam. Now Byers up the near side. Here's two chasing. He gets to the baseline now down low. Floats it up to him. Boy, they lost containment right there. Byers, he got the baseline and turned the corner. 43-40. Advantage like Bridget. 18 minutes to go. And the perimeter with it. Fischel. He'll give it. Empoya. He'll drive down low. Banks up. Good count it foul. Joe Empoya. He averages 17 a game. He's got 11. He'll go to the line to shoot one. Noah Bonna gets the foul. Bit of a clear up there. They just isolated Empoya. First person, 43-42, Lake Region by a point, 17-55 to play. Royals are on the road at Bontno on Monday, by the way. No radio coverage. Again, we'll be at four wins. High school hockey Tuesday. We'll finally take a day off Thursday. And then Friday, three fields up good. We'll be back at four wins high school. We'll be taking on Warwick, 43-43. Thank you to all of our sponsors who make all this coverage possible. Bonnick, Ahmad, right side, Byers, down the right wing, Bonnick. Bonnick leaves it, Byers, Byers to his left. Sanders over the top of the screen, now picked up by Doman. Byers steps back, fires a three, came up short. Rebound tapped loose, out of bounds, last touch, Bariega. He tapped it away from Ajanaku. 46 days will be through. <laughs> Be the end of the state. We'll have all 12 games from the state class B boys basketball tournament for you from Bismarck. Left side with it, Fischel. Fischel dribbles down the left side. He'll give it up, Sanders. Sanders jabs left, goes right, splits two defenders up in the air. Got it. Count it. Foul. Sanders, Sanders split two defenders. The foul's going to go on. Foul's number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. 45-43. Dawson. Bonick the foul. And Sanders gets the bucket. He's got seven. He'll go to the line to shoot one. 17 17 to go. Free throws up. Rims in good. Three point play. Peyton Sanders. Backcourt pressure. Ahmad gives it to Byers. Byers leaves it to Ahmad. Right back to Byers. He'll walk it across the timeline. He'll keep it away from the sideline. We'll try to avoid a trap. Bonnick with it. Bonnick left wing. Look back door. Not available. Bonnick drives, now kicks the corner. Ahmad rifles a three. He got it! Mo oh, Ahmad is 12-3 of the year. First of the night. He's got eight to lead. His cut to one, 
Ajanaku. Ajanaku is going to be fouled. The blocking foul is on Bonnick. I think he was in the restricted area. Jonaku took a pass close range. Bonnick gets no, his, Bonnick. Gets Bonnick. his third, third, third team. Third third team. Third team. The inbounded baseline right. Fischel will throw it in. So Bonnick with three for Lake Ridge and Ajanaku playing with three for Dawson. Inbounds pass down low. Goes to Ajanaku and a foul is going to be called. He curled off a screen, a very tight screen, and he That's pulled right off. Of and and that is and his first got his fourth. Late, his first fourth team foul. So to the free throw line, David Ajanaku. He has yet to score averages in a game. He'll shoot two here. Two of five in the first half. Now three of six as a team with one of one free throw shooting. Here in the second half, make it two of two in the second half. Free throws up, good. That'd be five out of eight now from the line. Again, coming into the game, 70% on the season from the free throw line for Dawson. They lead it by a deuce, 16 to play. Second free throws up, good, got them out. Ajanaku with the Ferris, first two points of the game. Brown with a cages, floating pass, Byers, Ahmad. Got a Brown, Brown across the timeline. He splits the defense, gets into the paint, he double dribbled, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Turnover number 11, Lake Bridget. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Lake Ridge and State College, Smile Quest Dental Office, and Devil's Lake Cars. All of Devil's Lake. Front court, Fischl with a basketball. Fischl gets a screen from Ajanaku, doesn't exploit that. Leaves it up top, driving with it. Empoyo gets it corner. Dolman a three and he nails it. Dolman. Walker Dolman his second three today. 15th of the year, he's got six points. Lead is six for Dawson. Byers gets it Brown. Right back it goes Byers. Byers on the far side. Bonick. Bonick on the way. He'll send it. Bariega in the circle. Not a Byers. Byers swings it over. Far corner. Brown off the dribble. 12 footer. Good. Mason Brown. Timeout like Ray Mason Brown with the basket. 15-58 to go. Your score. Full time. It is Dawson 51. Lake Region 47. We're back in a minute. Welcome back. Ball's going to belong to Dawson, 51-47. 15-58 to go. Bring it down, but it's going to be Fischel. Fischel across the timeline to his left. He's going to be picked up Bariega for a time being. That goes and Poyo, a three. That short, Bariega's got the rebound. Ariega, about to turn an ankle. He's going to shake that off. He's going to head the other way. Ariega, very aggressive rebound in traffic. Between the circles with it. It is Brown. Brown left side. Byers. Byers. Looking. Sends it a mod on top. Floats it inside. Bariega. He's being held. That's going to be a Jonaku's fourth. David Ajanaku just got his fourth, second team foul. Pass number 25, David Ajonaku, that is his fourth, second team foul. Ball inbounded out to have Ahmad with it. Ahmad guarded on the perimeter by Sanders. Down low it goes again. Bariega, he walked. He got off balance that time. Turnover number 12, Lake Bridget. 
51-47, here comes the five new ones coming in. Nika, Kroor, Grovan coming in. Also, Davidson and Buckman for Dawson. 51-47, advantage belonging to Dawson, 15-20 to play. Front court with the basketball, Buckman down the right side, leaves it. Grovan between the circles, drives to his left. He's got to need a saddle as he's being ridden by Brown. Just got his third. Now they're going to inbound near side front court. They're going to inbound right here. Grovan will throw it in. Grovan gets it in. Buckman. Buckman dribbling between the circles. Leaves it. Nika. He's got a pair of threes today. Now to Davidson. Davidson in the drive. He carried the ball. Had a little hesitation dribble. He wrapped it underneath. Six turnover. Buccaneer. 51-47 Dawson, 15-03 to go. Inbound in a mod, three-quarter court. He'll get it in to Brown. He's got Grovan right with him. Here comes the second defender in Davidson. Brown lost the dribble, got it back. Now it goes Barriega mid-court. Barriega surrounded. He'll get rid of it a mod. Oh boy, he had Brown wide open. He got some late. Now it leaves it to Byers. Byers sends it cross court Brown. Brown open three. We get an offensive foul on the weak side. Bonick. Foul number five, Noah Bonick. Bonick's going to get his Royal personal. Six. Sam Roberts in for Lund, both in for the Royals. Ariaga sits. Lund will come in. Bonick sits. Roberts comes in. 51 47. 51-47, Dawson, 14-40 to play. Into the front court, Buckman. Buckman, pass, gives it up, Grovon. Grovon dribbling on the perimeter, picked up by Roberts, on top, Buckman. Buckman's going to drive, spin, gets caught up in front of put it up, no good. Good defense right there by Ahmad. Held his ground, and Ahmad got the rebound. Ahmad hands it off to Brown. He stayed vertical, did Ahmad. Right side, Byers. Byers dribbling perimeter. He'll go to his left. Got a screen from Lund. Little pick and roll. Lund with it in the paint. Little jump hook. No good. Got his own rebound. Puts it up. Missed it again. Rebound tap loose. And it's going to be grabbed by Buckman. Two great looks. No finish. Buckman. Grovon. Hands it off. Kruer. Grovon. Deep three. Sweat. Grovon nailed it. And 47th three of the year is second tonight to account for six points. 54-47 Dawson. There are... 11 and 1 leading the conference. 17 and 4 overall. These two teams will look up in mid February. Driving back, Brown throws it up. Good, count it. And a foul is going to be called. Brown and Brown. 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 He's got 10. That's the number 24. He's Grovan that is his first. Go first. Damon Grovan, his first third team foul. 13 34 to play, 54 49. Advantage, Dawson. Free throw by Brown is up. Good, hits some iron, but it dropped. He's got 11, he averages 11. 54-50, Dawson. Buckman, front court. Buckman dribbling on the perimeter. He'll pick up that dribble. Goes to Nika, top of the key, gives it right back. Buckman, now to Nika. Nika to his right, cut off nicely by Ahmad. Right side Davidson, back it comes Buckman. Now to Grovan, another three, off the iron now. Rebound tipped around, it's going to be grabbed by Byers. Byers weaving through traffic. Byers front court. Byers going to flip it off. Ahmad put it up, no, but a foul. It's going to be Kruer. Charlie Kruer just got a third. Kruer, that is his third. To the free throw line four. goes Mo Ahmad. One of two, he's got eight points. Today's game brought to you in part by the Rich Sager Crop Insurance Agency, Knudsen's Body Shop, and Lake Bridge and Sheet Metal, all of Devil's Lake. 13.05 to play. Free throws up. Good. That was a bit flat, but a win. No, Bonnick comes in. Brown's going to get a break. Bonnick will play with a four falls. See if they attack him. Second free throw by the right-hander out of France. On the way, that is short. Rebound, Nika. Nika gives it to Davidson. Davidson will bring it back into the front court. Davidson with a yo-yo dribble on the perimeter near side. Roberts guarding him. On top, Nika. Nika against Lund. 
Nika hands it off. It goes for a three, and it's good by Curley Curley. That's only a seventh of the year. They gave him time to line it up, and he nailed it. Byers back court, chased by Curley. Got up to Amon. Amon. And it's going to be a timeout taken or a 10 count. 10 count. They never got the ball across midcourt. Turnover 14. And maybe they might try to call a timeout. No one did. Good pressure defense right there by Dawson. Drove on to throw it in. Drove on, gets it in. Buckman. Buckman between the circle. Near side, Grove on a three. Go! Damon Grove on did what he did last. He's got nine on three threes. The lead is nine. Fires with it. Fires throws it ahead. Bonnick to catch. He's got the taller Nika on him. Double team now with Buckman. Now Byers dribbles corner, cross court, Roberts. Roberts drives baseline, gets inside, reverse layup, no. He was bothered there by Nika. Nika with a rebound. He'll give it off. Buckman. Buckman, top of the key. Left side it goes. Davidson. Davidson, drove on, now it's Truer. Truer gives it to Nika. Nika to his left on the dribble, bounce pass, back door. Davidson's got it baseline. Hands it off, drove on. Drove on, behind the back, dribble and a hand check and a foul. It's going to go against DeMond. His third team foul seven. Foul number 15, Molomont. That Enemy is one his the third seven team foul. So Grovon will go to the line to shoot two. Averages 13 a game. He's got nine tonight. Today's game brought to you in part of the Fezzedent Co-op Association in Fezzedent with other area locations. Me and Machine and Repair New Rockford and Orthopedic Associates of Fargo. Substitution coming in. Empoyo comes in. Brewer will set. Eleven forty-nine to go. Sixty to fifty-one. Free throws up, and he missed it. Rovan missed the free throw. Rebound comes off to Ahmad. He's got a double-digit rebound now. Byers gives it up. Ahmad Roberts sends it over to Bonick. Left side Byers. He's been quiet. Second half. Now he gives it Bonnick. Bonnick to his right, lost the ball, picked up Nika. Nika gives it at him, Poya. Here's loop pass intercepted by Roberts. Now to Anna comes Amon. Amon on the left side, 11 24 to go. It's a nine point Dawson lead. Amon to Byers along the baseline. He'll bag it off. Byers to his right, stops baseline fade from 15, short, got his own rebound. He'll attack, puts it out. It's good, turn it foul. Fires. Fires with 19, he'll go to the line to shoot one. House number 30, Alexis. Nika, that is his first go. 15 yes. foul. Nika. Walker Noman is for the Bucks. Mason Brown returning for the Royals. Nika will set back into the game. Dolman. Brown comes back in for the Royals. Ahmad will get a break. Fires to the line to shoot one. Free throws up, good. Three point play. Lead cut to six. 11 07 to play. Royals will extend the floor defensively. Davidson with it. He'll get it over. Pass nearly picked up. Bonnick voids his foul. Uh, it goes inside. Doman is shot blocked by Roberts. The entry by Buckman. Doman had a block by Roberts. Royals get it back. 10 50 to go. Brown into the front court. He'll land it to Byers. Byers between the circles, goes right now, goes left. Gonna get a screen from Roberts. He's gonna fire up a three, good! Dribble left, dribble right, settle the three and Byers, three. And Byers is fourth and three of the game. Leave cut to three. Buckman, near side. Rolba, three, good! David Rolba, third of the half, fourth of the game. Gives him 49 on the season. Brown double team got it to Byers, 63 57. Advantage, Dawson. Now Brown with it. Brown's going to drive, gets to the rim, lays it up. No, but a foul. He got knocked off course. Foul's going to be a Davidson. It's first. 16 foul. So Mason Brown, one of one from the line. He'll go to the stripe. Mason Brown will shoot two. Sanders and Fiskel are going to, or Fischl rather, will come back in. Or Dawson, free throws up, short. 
set him down. And it's Bishop Peyton Sanders, Sanders and David Moore Bucks. Today's game brought to you in part by Lake Region State College, Smile Quest Dental Office, and Devil's Light Cars. All of Devil's Light. Second free throws up. That rims in just enough. One of two there for Brown. 63-58. Dawson into the front court. Empoyo. Empoyo leaves it. Fischel. Free throw line it goes. Sanders to the baseline. Grovot back for Sanders. It's tipped away and out of bounds. Ball's going to stay with Dawson. He'll have it far side front court. Bonick, the one that tapped it out of bounds. Empoyo will throw it in. 15 to shoot. Gets it in. Sanders had the arc. Sanders, Empoyo, he'll fire three. It's long. Weeks that rebound. Tip loose by Brown. Picked up Roberts. Roberts. Bonick back to Brown. Brown will walk it up. 9.40 to play. 63-58. Dawson. Right side. Byers with the ball. Byers looks back. Door not there. He'll dribble to his left. Stop. Step back. Goes the 19-footer short. Rebound. Denver Lund. Foul. He had the rebound. He was going to gather it and go back up. Foul's going to go against Sanders. That's his four. Personal foul. Bucks. So the free throw line will go Denver Lund where he's 0 of 1. He's going to get one of the bonus. He has fouled before he was on the way up. So one of the bonus. Royals down 5. 9.27 to go. Lund the right hander. Puts up the shot and it rims in good. A lot of iron, but it goes. Nika comes back in. Sanders out. Today's game Nika brought to you and more the by the Rich Sager Drop Insurance Agency, Knudsen's Body Shop, and Lake Ridge and Sheet Metal, all of Devil's Lake. Second free throw's got one get them both. 63 60 Dawson, 9.25 to go. Empoyo, he'll give it. Fisher. Fischel into the front court it goes. Grovon. Fischel. Grovon. Three. Right side. Nailed it. Demon. Oh, for three. Give him that much room. He knocks it down his fourth three second half. Five in the game for 15 points. 66 60. Dawson. Byers with the ball. He'll go to his left. Nico picks him up. Alapaz. Skip pass. Bonnick. He turns down a three. Now he's going to take the three on the way. Got it. Noah Bonick turned it down and then Noah took it. Six three. And the turnover in the back court by Dawson. They're eight. Inbounds pass comes in between the circles with it. Fires 66 63 Dawson. He'll give it up to Bonick who just nailed the three. Bonnick gives it to Roberts out top. Roberts right side, Byers. Byers looking interior. Byers is going to go to his right, to the baseline. Splits two defenders, makes it up, and it goes. Yeah, and yeah, Byers splits two defenders. And he gets the deuce off glass, leap cut to one. Corner. And the shot goes up. Grovon misses it. Rebound Roberts. Royals could regain the lane. Now goes to Brown with 8.15 to play. 66-65 Dawson. Roberts gives it Bonnick. Fires right side Brown. Inside it goes. Bonnick post up. He spins around. Can't get a shot up. His outlet pass. It's intercepted. Empoyo. He'll drive. Lays it up. Missed. Rebound. It's knocked out of bounds. It's going to go to Lake Regent. Empoyo missed. And trying to get it was Grobon. He tipped it loose, and then Empoyo well, grabbed uh, it. In, uh, and he had to reestablish the silver bounce. The end of four bucks. Well, well, the well, back back in. In. Ahmad. Meanwhile, Buckman comes in. Dolman out. Royals will have it. Backcourt. Davidson is back in as well. Inbounds pass comes in. Brown, 66-65. Dawson. Blocking foul. Backcourt. Fisher. Second One of the bonus coming up, Mason Brown. Mason Brown is the bonus. Sixty-six, sixty-five. Dawson, seven fifty-three to go. Brown free throws up. Good. He ties the game. Fourth tie. 
Today's game brought to you in part by the Fezzedin Co-op Association in Fezzedin with other area locations. Second free throws up good. Brown got them both. Royals regain the lead. 12th the lead change. 67-66. 7.50 to play. Front court near side. Fisher. Fisher drops over the dribble. Stop and go. Runs into long. Kicks it out. Nika three. Go! Alexis Nika, third three of the game. He only had six on the entire season. Lead back to Dawson. 69-67. Back comes Byers. He's hit on the play, and a foul is going to be called. Foul set for third, Alexis Nika. That is his second. So Nika gets the foul. Set Roberts is Nika, his second. Team foul nine. Go to the free throw Fire line. Indiana Byers. Byers. One of one for the strike. 24 on the day, averages 17 a game. Today's game brought to you in part by Me and Machine and Repair, New Rockford, and Orthopedic Associates, Fargo. Free throws up. Good. Fires will go again after this. Royals will shoot two from here on out. It'll be their 10th team foul. 7.26 to play. Second free throw got it. Fires with a pair. We are tied at 69. 69 apiece, 720 to play. Into the front court and Poyo with it left side. Down to Buckman corner. He'll leave it. Fischel. Corner it goes. And Poyo drives base and put a fork to Mod, but a foul. Mo Mod got him on the arm. Mod got his fourth. Mo Mod is fourth. So he with four. A Jonic who had four for Dawson. He's been on the bench for some time. Bariega is going to check back in to the free throw line. Jim in, pay, in Poyo. He'll shoot two. He's one of one from the stripe. Free throws up. Perfect. One point lead, Dawson. Ahmad out. Bariega in. In Poyo averages 17 a game. He's got 13 tonight. Excellent balance has been the case with Dawson all year. Second free throw, got it. 71-69, Dawson, inbounds pass, Byers, gets it ahead, Brown, Brown front court, over to Roberts, couldn't catch up, ball out of bounds. Turnover 17, Lake Region. So the ball goes back to Dawson. <laughs> front court with it, Fischel, bounce pass and Poyle. He'll curl to his right, now back left, cut off there by Brown. Out it comes, perimeter, Buckman. Buckman dances into the paint, puts up a shot, good, cut it foul. Buckman at the foul. Fifth on bottom. Bonick will leave with 12 points and 6.51 to go. We'll get immediate time out. Come on, the That's the number five, 6.51 to play. Your score, Dawson 73, Lake Region 69. We'll be back in a minute. Seventy-three, sixty-nine. Johnson has the lead. Six fifty-one to go. There has been thirteen lead changes. Five times. Free throw coming up for Dawson. Today's game brought to you in part by the Sendak Cooperative. Leeds, Niles, Maddox, Esmond, Harvey, New Rockford, and Minnewaukee along with Bergstrom Electric, Devil's Lake. 
It's out of the free throw line. Buckman stands for the three point play, and he's got it. End of the game. Official will set. Bring it up will be Byers. Back court leaves it. Amon back in. Midcourt Bariega. Byers front court Roberts. Roberts on the way. Roberts gives it a mod baseline back. Roberts. Roberts sends it to Brown. Five point lead. Dawson. 6.35 to play. Brown to his left. Cut off now. Double team. He'll lob it. Corner. Roberts. Home fake. Drives into the paint. He's hammered. He got to the lane and he was bumped on the arm. Foul's going to be called. Going to be two shots. Foul number one, Ty Buckman, first personal attack. Buckman's team first. Foul. Team foul 10. So two shots. Roberts to shoot two. Sam Roberts averages four a game, yet to score tonight. Two big free throws there. Six, 29 to play. Free throws up, rims up, no good. And it fell off the free throw. Ajana got back in. Going out will be Nika. Second free throws up, good. He had one of two. Bringing a ball into the front court. And as Buckman, he'll get it. Davidson, down to Buckman, the alley. Oh, Buckman, layup, and he got too deep, he missed it. He was too deep when he caught it at the under center of the rim. The rebound, Brown. Brown brings it back, 74-70. Dawson, left side it comes. With it there, Byers. Byers pass, Bariega between the circle. Out of Byers, center circle, Byers to his right, corner, Brown, three on the way, in and out, no, rebound's going to be cleared by Empoyo. Empoyo, lead pass up the near side, Buckman, Buckman through the legs, cut off, free throw line, back to Empoyo, he'll penetrate, puts it up over, uh, Bariega must have got a piece of that, they came up way short, rebound Roberts, Roberts will land it off, now walking it up will be Byers, 5.40 to play, Byers goes to his right, we get a foul. Going to be an illegal screen called against Roberts. Pass on the 25 cent. Roberts first person. 15 fouls. 19 fouls, turn over 18. Official in for the game. Today's game brought to you in part by Pros End of the Line, Sports Bar and Grill. Lamont's Paint and Flooring, both of Devil's Light. And CHS of Devil's Light with other area locations. Right side with a basketball. Official. They leave him wide open. He'll shoot the three. Halfway down, came out. Rebound. Ajanaku puts it up and in. David Ajanaku. Like 5.23 to go. 30 seconds. Timeout. Timeout on the floor. Your score Dawson 76, Lake Region 70. We'll be back in 30. Seventy six, seventy Dawson, five twenty three to go. Royals last lead was at sixty seven, sixty six. We were down at sixty nine apiece. Dawson has gotten the lead back. Thirteen lead changes five times. Brown floats it cross court. Fires with it. Fires up the near side. Gets past Grovan and then Ajanaku with a blocking foul. He gets fouled out. David Ajanaku will leave with four points all in the second half. 5-12 to go. Pass number 25, David Ajanaku. Big so personal foul. Not. Byers to the free throw line, having a big night. 27 on the evening. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Brummer Bank. Along with decorated wearables, both the Devil's Lake and Pete's tractor, Sanders, and Mount of Animals. Sanders will come back into the game for Dawson. 76 70. Dawson the lead. You're in tune. KZZY. Devil's Lake. Worldwide. LRRadioWorks.com. Free throw good. Just shy of 10 o'clock. Dawson tomorrow night. Well, Perry Mason's on in a half an hour. We better get there. 
I made it to the end last night. Second free throw is good. Nico will come back. Nico will be back. Nico will be back. Inbounds pass, Fischel, Royals extend the floor defensively. Now Nico, front court, Sanders. Sanders splits two defenders, lost the ball. He's going to get it back. He'll leave it off, Fischel, center circle. Sanders, corner, throw on three, no good. Rebound, Byers, he finally missed one. Throw on misses from the corner, Byers with a defensive rebound. He'll walk it up, 4.50 to play. Byers to his left, here come the edge off that high pick. Now the pass knocked away and stolen, Fischel. Official. Davidson. Davidson. Grovon. Penetration. Layup. Good. Grovon. in transition. His first two point field goal. He's got 17. 78 72. Bucks. Four and a half minutes to go. Right side with it. Ahmad to the baseline. Brown. He'll back it off outside the arc. He'll give it to Ahmad. Ahmad dribbling. Here he is. Chased by two again. Over to Brown. They lob it. Ariega the catch. He'll turn. Shoot. Spins off. No good. Rebound grabbed by Davidson. Might have been better served to come down to the ground and re-enter it up. Davidson, Fischl, corner, Grovon, wide open three. Back in a bit. Three three. David Grovon. He's having a field day. The extra pass by Fischl, and Grovon nailed it. 81-72, Dawson. Fires with it, 3.50 to go. Fires, skip pass, Ahmad drives. He'll lay it in. Skip pass right there. By Byers, 81-74. Royals need stops with 3.40 to play. Fischl, he'll leave it. Nika, Nika, tap of the wheel. Man-to-man -man defense, he'll land it up. Grovon, Grovon to his right, cut off, spins, being guarded. Down low, <laughs> Grovon strong enough to finish as he put it up over the defender. And Ahmad is playing with the four fouls. Ahmad into the front court on the dribble, 83-74. Gossip. Roberts leaves it off for Ahmad, now to Byers. Byers out near midcourt, 307 left. Ahmad, again the hedge off that ice stream. Right side Brown, long three, good. Mason, Mason Brown, Brown for three. three the game. There's another five dollars courtesy. 83-77. Dawson the lead, Nika gives it up. Sanders, Sanders drives, gets to the rim, puts it up, missed it. Rebound, tipped loose, but it's grabbed by Davidson. Davidson goes baseline reverse, layup score. Point to Longar. Looked like he needed one more dribble. Davidson with a bucket. He's got 13 first two second half. 85-77 lane. Johnson, Byers, front court. Byers gonna drive, puts up the runner, bank it in. Byers, Byers with another deuce. And quickly with it. Grovon, 85-79. Dawson, 2.15 to play. Grovon gives it up, Fischl. Fischl to his right, there's a foul. That's gonna be a mock. That's gonna be his fifth. He'll foul out with 11 points. Fouls at number 15, Mo Ahmad, fifth personal foul. Mo Ahmad just fouled out, 2-11 to go. Fischl will go to the line. Impoyo will check back in. Today's game brought to you in part by the first in insurance Lux. agency of Munich, in locations in Munich and Devil's Life. Along with Fischl a glad shot too. and the feed shop, both of Devil's Lake. Davidson out, and Boyo back in. Meanwhile, coming back in for the Royal, full step. So to the line. Shoot two. Official. He is now three of uh, two of three. He has two points. 86 79. It makes it a three position game with 2.11 to go. Second shot's up, good. Got him though. Ball's inbounded. Brown with a backcourt. Lead is eight. That goes to Byers. Byers, Brown, Brown across the timeline. Now he accelerates to the elbow area. Looking back door. Gives it Bariega, top of the key. Roberts, Byers, corner, pole stick. Pole stick. Spins around, stamps. Bariega, one at a catch. He'll leave it out. Goes Polstead, Byers, five on the shot clock. Byers, Sariega, he'll go from 17, shot short. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. 20 Royal turnovers. That never made it to the rim. Again, good defense, Dawson. 139 to play. 
Inbounds pass comes in. Fischel, Brown on him defensively. Fischel behind the back dribble. Across the timeline, he'll land it off. Pimpoyo. Now Nika. Nika, left side Sanders. He'll drive to the rim, lays it off, missed it. Rebound tip, and Pollo missed that. And it's going to be cleared by Brown. Brown heads the other way. Brown front court, headed off of the pass, and a foul. Sanders, that's his fifth. He'll lead the game for 10, Baby Sanders, fifth. Minute 18 foul. to go. Minute 18 Tyler to go. Tyler in four bucks. And Buckman will come back in. Yeah. Mason Brown to shoot two. 21-12 run right now by Dawson. Royals led it 67-66, now trailed by eight, now seven. Brown hits the free throw. He'll get another. Minute 18 to go, 87-80. Dawson trying to improve to 12-1 in the lead. Second free throw is good. And Gordon Poyo with it. He's guarded by Byers. Empoyo reached around and a foul is going to be called on Byers, his second. So two free throws on the end of the rim for Joe Empoyo. Three of three from the That's number 23, Jamie Byers, second person. Tonight's game brought to you in part by West Dead Auction and a premium service to Manhattan. And Premier Wealth Management can do. Munich, Cavalier, and Grand Forks. Free throws up, no good. Off the back iron. Minute 13 to go, the lead is six. Second effort is up, he missed that. Rebound gonna be grabbed by Barriega, still a two possession game. Now Byers. Byers across the timeline. Byers, got Nick on him, skip pass, pulls the double. What the Barriega, the 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 Timeout, 58.8 seconds to go. Your score, Johnson 87, Lake Region 83. We're back in a minute. The latest four for Dawson, 59.7 to play. Buckman will inbound, backcourt pressure. The only person out in the backcourt is Barriegui standing in the midcourt circle. Inbounds pass, comes in Fitchell. He gets it back, Buckman. Buckman front court. Boils need a stop right here. Buckman hands it off, Davidson. Davidson guarded by Roberts. Down the right side it goes. Buckman, Buckman leaves it Fischel, 13 to shoot. Fischel to his left, now top and Poyo. He'll drive to his left, Fischel, corner. He'll go long, two, got it! His first yeah, field goal so of the night. So he scores seven a game, eight and Fischel open. He knocks down the two. They're gonna put time on the clock. 34.5 on the clock, big shot. Eight and Fischel with a shot clock down to about eight. So inbounding will be Roberts. No pressure in the backcourt. He'll try to make Lake Region use time in that backcourt. Front court, Byers. Byers to his right, stops, sends it Brown. Brown pumping. He's going to send up the three. It's off the iron, no. Rebound, Barriega, layup good. Barriega, Barriega for two. Backcourt pressure. Grovon is fouled. He was trapped with 18 seconds to go. The lead is four. Damon Grovon. Council number 21, Mason Brown. He's all run from the line. He's got six threes, two twos, 22 points. 19 of those in the second half. 
to the free throw line, Grovon. Foul. Went against Brown, is fourth. Already lost four players, two on each side to fouls. Grovon free throws up, good. He's had a great second half. All told. Second free throws up, also good. Grovon with a pair. Eight threes made, second half. Dawson, Ariega, Byers, long three, no good. Rebound, Davidson. They'll just dribble out the clock. Dawson's going to hang on for the victory. Dawson gets their 18th one of the year, your final score. Dawson Community College, 91, Saint Regent State, 85. Your totals. Donating two and a half dollars to Ross Athletics for every three ball made this evening. Eight on the.